Welcome to Sewing Quarter. I'm Natasha McCarty. You've got me for the next four hours, but not only me. Oh, no, no, no. This hour, I'm joined by the very fabulous Tilly Rose, who we will meet in just one moment. Let's have a look at what we've got coming up today. So we're starting off with Tilly's Textile Masterclass. Ooh, even Tilly's looking impressed by that. Oh, yeah. Uh, nine o'clock, we've got Quilter's Tool Time. Oh, my goodness. That is jam-packed with good for you on that hour then at 10 o'clock we have got your patchwork perfection again with Tilly and she's chosen some delicious colorways absolutely stunning and then at 11 o'clock quilt as you go lots of different options for you to quilt to your heart's desires Oh yes, so lots to come today. Thank you ever so much for joining us this morning. It's lovely and sunny here in Birmingham. What's it like where you are and the rest of the world? Um, now, very exciting. We have something brand, 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 brand new for you today. And that is this. This is your threads. Now, if you've seen any of the threads shows before, then you'll know that threads is a printable fabric. It is absolutely stunning. But this one is brand new to us today because it's silk. You've had the poplin, you've had the twill, now it's time for the silk. So if you want that silky effect, maybe you're doing something memorable of christenings, weddings, anything like that, that really special occasion, then this is the one for you. We're gonna use this today, we're gonna show you how to use this today. It's incredible stuff. And today you're getting, well, it's called silk chamoose. We think that's how you say it, that's how we're saying it. Shamoos. Uh, I like to say it like that anyway. $29.95 for this, but it's super special. Super, super, super special. We're going to show you exactly how to use that in just one moment. Beautiful to work with as well. Now, let's have a look at the other options that we've had. Now, you've seen these on the shows before, but you may well be stocking up again because you've used it because it really is rather lovely. Now, this one here is your cotton twill. And uh, we will just touch very briefly in a moment on when you would use which different um, type of fabric. So this is $21.95, again, for your six A4 sheets there. But of course, you can, you can print these in however you like. So that could be all sorts of different patchworks. $21.95 there, SATP27. This is your printable fabric. Oh, yes. Oh yes, it's really quite magic. I'm gonna give you the options and we're gonna show you how it works. Uh, this one here is your poplin, okay? So if you're after your cotton poplin, then this is the one. Maybe you're stocking back up again. 1995 for six sheets of your cotton poplin. EXTP10 is your code for this. Each different fabric, as with any fabrics, if they're different, is going to have a different use. Um, so we'll ask, to, we'll pick Tilly's brains on that in just, ooh, just one moment. So three different options. Tilly's here. She's our expert for the day. Hello, Hello. my love. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very good, thank you very Spotify. much. Well, you know, I had to silk it up because we're all silky we are. today. We now, are. Tilly, threads. Yes. Um, a printable fabric. Yes. But not as we've known it before. No, uh, so the printable fabric is uh, through an inkjet printer. Okay. Okay, and I Just know... Just a home inkjet printer? Yeah. Uh, make sure that it's definitely an inkjet printer. We okay. had quite a few queries about that last time. Um, so printable fabric's been out there for quite a while, um, but the difference with this uh, product, beautiful, 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 um, is that uh, the, the, the actual threads are coated. Each individual thread is coated with um, the, the, the mixture to produce such a in-depth colour. Yes. Um, so whereas you would print in the past, some fabrics would come out and you'd have like a film on top of the fabric. Yeah. Um, and it produced um, almost like a plasticky feel. Um, so this is, it actually goes into the fabric itself, into the threads, um, and you'll be able to, with all the different samples here, you'll be able to obviously tell viewers, I know they can't tell from just me holding it, but um, it just feels like fabric. It doesn't feel like there's anything printed on there at all. It is amazing. And that is the absolute joy of this. It is. Um, now, we're going to print off straight away some of the silk, aren't yes. we? Now, why is the silk so special? It is brand new today. I know. How exciting. So, um, I actually love working with the silk. I've, I've used the poplin and the, and the twill, and obviously I've been on shows and demonstrated. But mm. the silk lends itself to those delicate projects. 
Can you show um, me something with it on? Well, we're going to be. We've got the canvas in the front. Oh yeah, this is. Yeah, this is it. So this is it with the. So very fabulous for nostalgia. It is. It is. Feel. Um, but not. Okay, don't just think thing. sort of textile art. You could put it into a beautiful uh, patchwork throw, but sort of with a, a, a very gentle maybe wedding theme or a vintage theme. You might want to use your vintage laces with that. Um, but you might actually want to keep it in a memory album or something like that, or a wedding pillow, christening gowns, oh, anything. Lovely. Those sort of beautiful, you know, memory and mementos that you want to Should keep. Should we start you know. printing one off then? Yes, so please. that we can... So yes, what, what are we actually going to... Right, so if I... I'm going to actually print off... Let's start with um, just an old photograph. Okay. Um, so this is my great-great-grandma. Which way around do I need to be? Am that I way. Down? Yeah, yes. pop okay. around there. So just before the show, uh, we printed it onto paper. Yes. So what I would say, anybody doing any kind of printing, whichever, obviously we're talking about the silk, but if you, yes. you're getting the poplin or the twill, uh, don't go straight into using your fabric. Print onto a piece of paper mm -hmm. to work out the dimensions. Um, obviously, you might want to expand your photograph or reduce it to mm -hmm. the size that you want. Um, but then just print it out on paper and you can kind of then work out which bit you're going to use in your project. Once you've done your paper, um, we printed a copy onto uh, the poplin because I wanted to do the silk mm. on the show just to show you the difference. And this was actually on a black and white setting and then we did a colour setting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to run through so that So that in gives a you a lovely sepia feel. Yes. Now this is on the poplin, so that we've given you the details of the poplin there for you. We're now going to print it onto the silk so yes. you can start to see the different yes. feel. But you can see, I mean, actually, I think you get greater depth um, of the printer printing wise you do on the, on the fabric itself you do. it's brilliant I've isn't got it? some several uh, examples that I'll, I'll show throughout right, the show let's print then okay so the first thing you need to do do you want to take one out of um, the packet oh here we go this is oh, the silk got it. Okay. okay so your silk will arrive in this sealed packet and um, you need to just take one out at a time okay so, because it keeps it in a, a lovely sort of um, uh, atmosphere where it's you know uh, not exposed to the air it keeps it in there fresh okay so it's nice and simple so oh now hang on so i've got shiny side fabricy yes, side silk. yes i don't so know if that'll shiny show. shiny 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 there you go you can see that that's not the side you're going to print on is no, it you're going to so that's like a carrier Yes, so that paper um, is the backing to give it the stability to go through your printer. Ah. Okay, and then what we're going to do, uh, like it says on the on the packet, it says print, peel, and create. I'm going to swap sides with you. Let's dance. Okay, uh, and I'm going to let you put that through. Obviously, the first thing. Do you know what I do? What I would do is, um, if you're not sure, because this is the thing that takes takes a bit of brain power for me. Yes. When I put through my piece of paper to print first, I would write on the top as I put it in, top yes. right, I was bottom just left. To, you beat me to it. So that's so you why, know which way it's going yes. through your printer. And actually, what I would do for your first print is keep that as a copy. Keep it in your little stash of files of however you, you, know, you experiment so that you're not every time that you come to do this, you think, which way did I do it? Keep it as a copy. Yeah, you've got it then, you um, know. So we just need to talk about the printers. If your printer is a top loader printer, uh, so the silk will go in obviously the top of your printer, the silk will be facing towards you because right. it will just run straight through. Yes. But if your printer is a bottom feed printer, it's going to go upside down and, and actually flip round. Yes. So you need to make sure that that's in the right way, which is why doing it paper copy, that's much better. Now, the lovely thing about this is that you can use it with your inkjet printer and it doesn't use any extra ink. This isn't going to suck it dry or anything like that. No. It's just the normal amount of ink that you would as if you were printing on paper. That's the beauty, isn't it? It is, because at the end of the day, your printer doesn't know that you've put fabric in there. No. It's assuming it's a piece of paper, so it's not going to use any more um, fabric than it needs to. Brilliant. So I have uh, my pictures on the screen ready to go. Let's go into print. And off it goes. Now, whilst you do that, I'm going to show you this. Now, this is one, this is like an early, an early printable fabric. Um, yes. And it was printed on silk. But as you can see on this one, you, it's kind of, it's sort of sitting on top. And if you can hear, hang on, let me put it near my microphone so you can hear. 
Oh, it, it, it's like it's a film on top, it is. isn't it? So Which it, you don't get with this. No, and actually, if you, I don't know if the camera can pick this up. There's a bit of a shine to yes, this particular sort of, one. I don't know if the camera can actually pick up that shine. So that, yeah, but the, so yeah. That, that isn't ours. No. And if I just show you on this one. This is it's the not, cotton. That's the cotton. That's the cotton. But, but it's, it's not. Oh, hang on. There we go. That's what you need. So you can see the silk doesn't that's have that so shine. Soft. It just has that beautiful smooth finish. Isn't that beautiful? And you can see proper silk down there. Isn't that lovely? And you've started to hand embroider. Yes. Yeah, so your that's tying. what we're going to do a bit later. I'm just going to show you some details um, on how you can bring out the details of your photographs. Fab. Um, with just doing a little embroidery. Now we're printing. We just press print and we off we go. We just press print, but we just need to make sure that your printer details, uh, you need it on your uh, best photograph. So there's usually um, normal, standard and um, best yes. or high. Sometimes yes, it's quality. Yes, I've got high quality. Mine, yeah. um, so that needs to be on high and then you need it on a matte paper. You okay. don't need a photo paper. Some people have sort of emailed me and, and said... Uh, so you need it on your matte paper, yep. your best quality, yep. the right way in your printer. Yes. Okay. And, and we're it, good to go. it does take a, a little while to go through because obviously it's doing, it's it doing best. its best. So, um, yes. Now, what I, I know that at home what you're saying is, well, hang on, when do I use poplin? When do I use yes. silk? When do I use yep. twill? Tilly? Okay. So... <laughs> Cotton poplin, um, I've brought in my quilt because okay. I've used poplin on the, that. Uh, not just any old quilt, <laughs> Tilly, the award-winning quilt. <laughs> and this is all using threads. Yes. So all the photographs we printed out using cotton poplin on the, uh, with the threads. So what is poplin? Right. So cotton poplin is usually the favourite for quilters or patchworkers. Right. Um, 100% cotton that um, is a, it's quite a fine cotton that is obviously um, lovely to patched together right the twill the cotton twill you can use it for patchworking i've used it this is um, on your twill yes uh, we've got uh, an example i'll come across in a second and show you the twill but the twill is a heavier weight so if you're thinking of cushions maybe for outside or you might be thinking of um, an apron or i'm thinking um, bags yeah bags perfect uh, it it has like um a little cross weave to it that um is not like denim. Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly the same like denim, but it's got that little sort of um, design. Can I take this off the paper? Yes, you can. Can yes, I? Because this is cotton poplin. So this one. is the poplin. Let me just. Can I just go across and get the yeah, twill? Yeah, go. Well, that's go printing. Get it. So when you get when this comes out of the printer, yes. it's going to be on on your paper carrier. On the paper, yes. And then you just. Yes, yeah, so you need to leave it just a couple of minutes just to yeah. uh, make sure that uh, um, it's settled down. So this one here is poplin. Yes. Now, you've taken it off on the edge. Um, what should I have done? I usually put it down and then peel it flat, but there's no right or wrong way. Okay, that's no, all right. No, there's no right or wrong way. Look one. at that. Yes. And so this it, is in the poplin. Can you then iron that? You don't need to iron it to set the colour. But so it's just it's if just you set, want it. But if you want to iron it um, in, yes, yeah, scrunch it up and then iron it for your project, of course. It's and fabric. The thing it's fa <laughs> that's the beauty of it. And look, that is just like any any fabric. It's like a little cotton handkerchief. Isn't it's it? like it is like it a little is. cotton yeah. handkerchief, isn't it? That is fab, yes. and that is that's fabric. So you would just use that like you would anything else. Yes. So if you were putting that in a project, that's um, beautiful. If you were putting it into something like a patchwork quilt or a cushion or something that is going to be washed, yeah. it, all of the fabrics can be washed. Yes. Um, and I'll show you one that we did on a previous show just in a few minutes because yes. I know we're going to mention that. Um, but Get rid of you would, there's just a very slight shrinkage. Okay. So you would but treat you would it the with same any, with any fabric. Any fabric. You would. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so that is your poplin. That's lovely. Yes. Now, so that's slightly finer than the twill. Let me yes. show you the. Oh, so, here's your gorgeous boy. <laughs> this is the one that I did on the show, the previous show, using cotton twill. So I've just brought that back. So um, just to remind viewers that that was Here the is. fabric that we used. Obviously, so this is cotton um, twill. Yes. He, your gorgeous grandson doesn't come with it. <laughs> you have to supply your own child <laughs> yeah, to photograph. We do. Um, but that is that is a slightly heavier weight it is you can so actually you can almost see on there you can see the can texture. you see that weave yes so tote bags things like yeah, that are going to be fab yeah and i love that that's going to be 
Well, yeah, I mean, tote bags. bags, children's yeah. bags for school, Absolutely. anything like that. Um, and also memory things. For me, this is about memories. It this is. is about personalising. This is about making something super special. Maybe you're doing a gift for um, for a loved one, for a grandparent, something like that. You know, this is this is what this is all about it for is. me. This and is that nostalgia. It is, and from and really, that's kind of my, you know my thing. I, I love putting a story into a project. Anybody who kind of knows me knows that. Um, but I like to use the photographs as a base. So as a textile artist, I kind of like to take it to that one step further. So if you're a complete beginner and you've never used this before, it's all, all there. The work's done for you by just printing out a photograph and you put it into your project. And then you just done. sew it like you, yeah. like you would with any of the fabric that you have at home. You can, just, you can just use it. So it might be a picture of your cat. I know that when John did the yes, show, we, did. we had photos yes. of, of um, Norman and Nelly, I think didn't I we? might have that in my stash. I'll go oh, around we'll and have, have a look. look through. But, and, and so then so you could just do a cushion with a picture of your favourite cat, dog, anything like that on. Yeah. And, that's that, and that's the beginning point. You always take it to the next level, I which do. we love. Well, I get lots of uh, viewers and, um, uh, um, and people from my workshop saying, okay, I've done that now, now I've tried what? that, what's the next step? So hopefully today I'm going to give you some pointers as to how you can use your photographs in a project uh, with some slow stitching. If you have any questions, yes, please email then email, in. email please us. Say hello. So getting in touch, sorry, I should have said this earlier. If you'd like to get in touch, then the website, head to the website and then go to watch. So view us live. Um, and then there we are, and then scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, um, when you've gone to watch, so you watch us live, and then underneath where you watch us live, there you go, click on that bit, and then scroll, scroll, scroll down, and there's a message box, and you can, that message comes Send straight in. into the studio, <laughs> which is really lovely. Um, and so, yeah, just if you want to say lots, though, if you've got like a tone that you wish to send us, then do email, which is studio at sewingquarter.com. Or if you've got any pictures that you want to send in, then that is the best way to do that. In fact, in order for them to come into the studio, it's going to help if I actually turn my tablet on. Oh, yes. That's and if you've got any questions, <laughs> send those in too. Yes, please. Yes, please. Or if you've got any, you know, we've we've got... There were questions that we had, certainly from the last show, sure. about um, about washing and care yep. instructions, things like that. They are all on the last show, which was with John, 22nd of May at 9am. So you can go to YouTube, you can re-watch that, and that's got all of that information. Yes. The colours don't run, just treat it as a normal fabric, no, as a normal shall cotton. I just... There'll be a slight amount of shrinkage, as you expect, with any cotton. Now, on the first show that we did, Tilly, we, we had this... Now, this was on... Yes, so this is on cotton twill. Twill, yes. Yes, and uh, we actually uh, washed a copy of the pansy yes, just we to did. show that the ink couldn't come. Because let's face it, if any colours were going to run, yes, it Yes, and was that's this. why I chose this. So this is this just is a photograph. This is printed on paper. Yes. And this is it printed on fabric. Yeah. And we, we dunked that. We did the dunk test live we on did, air. Because there's an awful lot of ink colour there, but yeah. not a drop came out. It's so amazing. Fun. And that's why we love, <laughs> love, love this. But so it doesn't have to be photos of your relatives or no, your cat it doesn't. or your no, dog. No, 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 it can no. be um it can be all of all sort of botanical it can. things. It can. Now, this has just come out. Yes. I have okay. to show you this. Because this is it on silk. Look at I don't know that. if, um, once you've shown it, I'm going to hold the poplin against it, and I don't know if you'll get this lovely sheen, whether we'll be able to pick that up. Well, let's compare and contrast. There we go. So this so, is, this one here is your poplin. You yes. can see I've, I've creased that because I've been going, oh, look, it's fabric. <laughs> um, but there you go. You can see there, this is your silk shine. We're just going to leave that on the paper for a moment more just to make sure yes. those colours have set. Yeah, and also what I'd really like to say is against this, I didn't change the settings on the printer. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Um, and if you actually look at the colours, so on silk it's actually taken a different colour to the yeah. poplin. It's, and so I haven't changed anything at all. This was the printout on the paper that we did in uh, just a normal printout in black and white. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can see how it adds a different richness. Gosh, play, play. So this yes. is silk, this is poplin. Yes. I can't wait to get this off that. I'm well, we could take it out now. That's, is, it, is it okay yeah, to do? Okay. Show us your way of getting okay. it off then, because right. I just got a bit gung-ho and just <laughs> like, really? fine. But that just actually shows, um, you know, 
there's no problem to it. Now, we might have to leave this just a little bit longer, I'm just thinking. Um, I usually go in the corner. If you can't um, get to the edge, just give it a tiny little nip so right. it gives it a little bit of tear. I'm going to turn it over here because this is the shiny side of the fabric. Right. Okay? And you're literally going to tear off the end. Now, what I didn't say as we were putting it in the printer, sometimes you do... Can you see how I've just got a little bit of a thread on the edge? Yes. Okay. Uh, just snip those off if you've got some before you actually put it in the printer. Right. Um, but as you pull this, what you don't want to do is you don't want to stretch your fabric. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to peel this off very gently. Now we've got a message from, um, from Anne who says, can you wash it? Does it need fixing? Oh, that's from John from Wales. Okay, ah, um, so, so no. yes, you can wash it. You don't it have to wash to it to fix it. You don't have to iron it to fix no. it, but you can wash it and you can iron it, but you don't need to. It's only if you want If, if you're you going to put it in a project to iron it that's to going to be laundered. Yes, yes. 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 Um, but lots of printable fabrics, um, you would you would need to iron it to fix it. You, you do. don't have to with this. No, because the colour's set the now. It. That's <gasps> it. That's finished. Look at that. Look at that. I, so wish, this, I really wish you could sort of just feel the fabric because it's just so That is your lovely. silk. Look, I just want you to see. That is your silk. Now, isn't, I mean, that... It's like a silk, you know, like a silk scarf that you'd buy from a store. Now, we said this we earlier. Were talking about it would be this. beautiful to actually yeah. make a silk scarf out of this. It would because if you had, I know probably you wouldn't want something as bright as this, or you might, I don't know. Oh, I would. <laughs> okay. I really would. You could just take a photograph um, and then print out several of them and just literally you could either hand stitch them together or machine stitch them together and you've got a beautiful scarf. I mean, I know it doesn't go with what I'm wearing, but, um, you, you know, it would drape beautifully. It really would drape there beautifully. Let me, let me drape you with silk. And the, and the of joy one. of the silk, actually, if I, if I, I don't know if it hold it up, it's not transparent um, completely. I don't know what's the best way to show transparency. Yeah, no, well, yeah, holding it because the, the light would go through. Okay, but it is transparent mm. to a, up to a point. Oh, it's beautiful. I need it to show up to a light. And then I like that on the back, you've almost got a negative, you know, when you... Yes, that's what I mean. Yeah. You can see it on the other side. So when I'm going to go uh, talk about my stitching, whatever you do on the front obviously will show through on the back mm. if you did a scarf or something like that. That would be so beautiful because you'd have a, a you know... Can a, I ask a, you a to hold the silk? Sure. So that's your silk. Yes. And this is your cotton poplin. Yep. So whatever effect you're going for, there you go. So again, fabric, scrunch, scrunch, easy. And again, with the silk, scrunch, scrunch, beautiful. Um, and again, if you want to, you can iron them. You don't need to. Let me just stress no, that. You, you do not no. need to iron these or wash these to fix them. Uh, a question from Sharon. She says, good okay. morning. Good morning, Sharon. I might Sharon. have missed this information, but you do need to buy fabric ink for the printer or will normal ink cartridges work, says Sharon? Normal Sharon, ink. Just normal, it just is an normal ink, ink jet. Yes, so ink, ink jet printer. Jet printer mm -hmm. uh, you don't want anything, um, you know, like a laser printer or anything like that. You want the ink jet printable, uh, ink jet printer, sorry, with the normal cartridges um, because it's no different to printing out a photograph on a piece of paper. But it's so and is. It's actually the... Um, the composition of the threads of the actual fabric that creates that depth of colour. That coated yes. thread. Hence why it's called thread, because every thread is coated. Every thread is I've coated. I've got another, another question. They're okay. coming thick and fast. Okay, Kimo's okay. Thick and fast. <laughs> Sheila says, can you use the fabric in inkjet photocopy mode, i.e. without a keyboard? Um, can I use the fabric in inkjet photocopy? So, in other words, if you've oh, got one so of these multiple things and you've got something that you want to photocopy... Right. And print straight on. Uh, I can't see why not. I can't see. Because Does she mean to scan it in like a photocopy? So if you have... So you put so your photograph yeah, in. Yeah, you put your photograph in, scan yep. it, so to so then print it. So as long as you put it. your fabric in for it to be printed on, yeah. and it's an inkjet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that So you use fine. it just like you would your printer. So Sheila, if you've got something that you want to scan, because this is the thing, I remember my mum, when I was at school, she, she got hold of a whole load of old family photos. She, she had them restored, but she was then worried to have it out 
out right. in case they fade it. Yes, but yeah. imagine being able to scan it and then putting it onto beautiful silk, stitching it into cushions, yeah. stitching it into a patchwork, something like that, and then having that um, so, and not being worried about about having to about having it out in the sunlight because you're not worried. You, you know, this isn't your well, only precious copy. Also, from from the memory side of things, I'm always saying um, at all my workshops and events and things that we all have this beautiful stash of memories yeah. but they're all tucked away in little boxes or uh, maybe in a photo album that never sees the day of, you know uh, light of day when you put it onto fabric and actually it's there as a cushion or a book cover or a photo album or maybe even if it's just a very plain apron um my friend actually made uh, she had um, a, a cooking apron very mm. very plain canvasy apron printed out a picture of her grandma just oh, on, on the top here because grandma was the lady who taught her to cook so oh. i just thought that was a really lovely idea every time she cooks she's got grandma sitting there you see i have and a photo of my grandma in my workroom because yeah, she was the one that taught me to it's, sew it's so just she's adding there. those little you know touches yeah. of nostalgia and memories in there i've got some ideas can we just show uh, viewers how we could perhaps put some ideas onto the silk yes now we've had a very quick question okay if i were patchworking with it which of the three because we've got silk we've got poplin we've got twill which one would I use? Okay, um, I've got, just bear with me for a second. I, this, I didn't make this, okay. Uh, I bought it in to show viewers what you could actually do with your patchwork um, quilt or if you're gonna do, um, you know, patches, uh, squares. So would the poplin be best I would say patchwork? go for poplin if you were doing something like okay. this. Let me give um, you the details, poplin down the bottom of the screen. But it, also, you could use the twill. You, your fabric, whatever fabric you choose to print on, really you need to match with the same weight of fabric for making right. your quilt. That's really the key. But poplin is, you know, usually the one that most viewers um, would choose to do a patchwork. This is it with twill. So if you're yes. maybe patchworking on for a cushion or something, that's your twill. Maybe onto a bag, something like that. A heavier, yes, you could. heavier yeah. duty one. And this is your poplin. Today we bring you silk. Super exciting, we bring you silk. Um, we've had a question, can okay. I print labels for quilts and is it washable? So Sheila, yes it is yes. washable. And but yes. you don't have to do it in order to seal it. Let's no. just make that clear. No, no, no. You, um, you wash it because it's dirty and you don't want to wash it. That's, that's the only reason you wash it. Yes, you can print labels for your quilts. What a lovely idea. Yeah, so with your quilt, with your labels, Sheila, um, obviously, um, it sounds as if you've actually done that before and you probably know how to put that into your computer. Um, you can, um, it, if viewers are not uh, familiar with using, you know, a particular photo editing suite or anything like that, you could actually just put some font in a Microsoft Word document, then turn that into a picture them. and print that out. Um, and then obviously you could put a box around it or you could embroider or, or so stitch it So it's up it to you something. how you do it. Yeah, but that's a lovely idea. My, um, my advice to you would be, and actually... You know, they, you know, on social media, you often see that thing, uh, you know, where you see like a toddler saying, oh, for goodness sakes, grandma, turn it off and on and, you know, giving IT based advice. Get your grandkids involved if you're un unsure you know in any I way. They well, would love to get involved I with this. I actually said this on the last show with John is um, I, from my point of view, um, so I have a background in education similar to yourself, Tash, and I am forever um, finding ways of bringing the younger you know, generation into sewing or crafting or what have you. And I actually think this is a beautiful way of getting uh, families involved, getting, yeah. the, you know, the generations involved. So you might have a photograph, say, of great-great-grandma that you want to put on a cushion, mm. but they might have something that they might want to add into the equation. Yes. Um, they can put speech bubbles, they can put text, <laughs> yes, they can change colours. Um, oh, I've got a photo to show that someone okay. sent in. You know what else I'm thinking? Doing a, a quilt, a family tree quilt yes. with photos. Oh, well, no, hang on, look, we've got one, similar. <gasps> this is from Sue. Oh, oh look. Wow. Oh, she says threads are brilliant. Oh. This is her first project. That's the 3rd of July. You've only just completed that. Oh, oh hang on. Does it's that from who, sorry, 3rd Hannah? 3rd July 2017. It's a present. For her mother-in-law. Oh, how lovely. And they are her great grandchildren. Oh, wow. How Isn't that amazing. fab? Absolutely beautiful. Well done, you. And is that cotton poplin? 
she doesn't Does she say, say? Okay. but maybe she'll message back. And message who did you back say Sue. that was? Sue. Sue. Well done, Sue. Sue. Would you Beautiful. message us back and let us know if that's Poplin or Twill that you use? Because that would be gorgeous. Because the other lady asked which one. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see which one Sue used. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like pop Poplin, but. Um, oh, yes. lovely. So today we've brought you silk, which is very, very exciting. Twenty nine ninety five for your silk. You are going to love. It. You are. <laughs> it is so luxurious, isn't it? It is. Um, Can I just show? Things like we that. said about um, uh, ID on yes. how to use it so I printed this out just before the show onto the silk oh, did you? I did and um, when when you were saying about weddings obviously weddings are very very personal as are christenings but something like this would make a beautiful wedding uh, ring pillow you know that oh, they carry yes. or um, on the front of a photo album or something well that's just it isn't it you know maybe you want to make a wedding photo album and then you could actually um, do a, a fabric you cover could, for the but album. I think with the silk, it just adds that extra luxury because you could put a piece of the bride's lace, yes. you know, from uh, if there was some left over from the dress on there, pearls, buttons, all sorts of things, and actually make it really, really personal. Oh, how gorgeous! But it adds that beautiful, um, luxurious feel. Lovely. So we can take that off if you want to peel that off. Oh yes, let's let's peel that, that off. Peel that now, off. Uh, did, I, okay. did I hear right, Hannah? Have we got another image? Oh, another image. So this is Marcia. Well, it's not actually Marcia. Oh, yes. This is Marcia's now, work. Okay, Marcia, you uh, sent this to me, and this is for uh, Marcia's friend right. who moved house. So um, she lovely. printed out a photograph of her house, of her home, to take with her on a cushion. I think it was a cushion, um, as a reminder of her lovely home because she's ah, moved home. And so actually, yeah. this is um, going on the same theme as what we're going to move on to in a minute of how you can, so she's used the basis of the photograph, the house, and you can see where Marcia's stitched round each Beautiful. detail. So similar to how I've done it on my quilt, so you pick out elements of your photograph. Oh, Marcia, you're so clever. That, that was for her aunt's 80th. Oh, okay. Isn't that um, lovely? Well, I hope I've got the right lady then that she did move move from her home. Ah, oh, <laughs> now, this is it pulled... Oh, that was... Oh, okay. Sue's on the yes. quilt, cotton poplin. You're ah, right. thank you, Sue. Excellent. Thank you, Sue. Uh, now, this is... There we go. We just pulled that off the, the paper carrier that it comes on so that you can put it through your printer. And there it is. Now, you see again the silk. It, it, is, it is just beautiful, soft It just drapes. Silk. Drapes so beautifully. And actually... Uh, I think I want, for my, I would look, well, it's one of those things you want to rub it there, but I'll for my put next makeup all over show, it. So I'm not. determined I'm going to actually make um, a silk scarf. <gasps> but you see, yes. look, so you could, you can start, you can just imagine starting to build up. Um, it used to be a thing, my mum always used to, in the downstairs toilet, have a great big montage, photo montage. But this is taking it to the next level, isn't it? it this is. is about yes, having it, is. it in fabric form. This is going to be a hand me down. This is an heirloom it item. Is. This is something that you absolutely love that you can add to. Uh, oh, just, oh, okay. how exciting. When so Freddie I... was born, we had we had an entire wall in his nursery of, of all family members. Or, you know, fo you know, you can get like photo yes. um, pictures yes, done. Yes, yes. And so that's what we did so that he was always surrounded by family. We could tell him who everybody was. But uh, oh, well, like I'm going to throw perfect. something else in the mix as well, well because behind us on the wall, we've got the um, hoops. With the oh, yeah, fabrics. The over there, yes. Now I love putting things into hoops because I do a lot of stitching. Yes. So you could actually uh, have one photograph in Better each hoop. Oh, lovely! And then add your slow stitching bit by bit. And again, that's a this different collage to ongoing... a normal, you know, photograph frame or something different. Well, I'm now seeing these up the stairs. Yes. You know how people have, have photos up the stairs. Well, why not have them? And then you can just take one off and do a few stitches yeah, of course and pop you it could. back <gasps> and then put it back. Be gorgeous. Right. So let me give you some ideas. Now, so this. Up. Right. You have so, surpassed yourself with this. I love oh. this idea. <laughs> Thank you. So this is going to be, um, I'm going to bring this out so that I can actually show viewers what I'm talking about bit by bit, because um, hopefully they, they know me that I offer lots of ideas. So um, going on this idea of where we've just printed out a family photo. Yes. Okay. If you're not sure of how to do that, um, so here's a picture. I know it's not the same picture, but it's the same lady. So this is my mother-in-law. Right. This is when she got engaged. Um, so you would scan that into your... Um, computer mm -hmm. save it into your photographs and like you say then that's saved that image okay yeah. um, and then I also like to add different elements so I like to save all um, handwriting all sorts of bits and bobs I would do the same for a scanned image of writing 
So you'd scan okay. in the writing. Yeah. Okay. And then um, it's down to, it's, it's taking that one step further. So have a play mm. and combine your photographs together. Okay. And you can overlay your photographs. And that's what I did with my quilt ideas, mm -hmm. where I've put two or three images on top of each other. And I did it with the uh, silk, we've got one here. So this photograph I used, um, it was just a walk in the woods. Yeah. I've used a vintage image um, that uh, was copyright free. And we do need to mention that if you do use any images um, to make sure that if they're not yours, they've, they've got yeah. to be copyright free. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Um, and then all I've done is combine them. I've added a little bit of a filter over the top, which just means it's just given this misty edge to the fabric mm. here. Um, and then embroidered on top. Beautiful. But you can keep adding and adding and adding. So with the, with the uh, writing, I'm and just going to just show you. I just can't believe how soft that is. The fact that that has got ink on it, but it is still so soft is just phenomenal. Just gorgeous. Um, now, so, this is silk on here. Oh, I've got a is, question. Oh, okay. Um, hi, Natasha and Tilly. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. It's would Maxine. you uh, hi. would like to ask, do we stabilise the material before using it in patchwork? Good question. You can do. Um, it depends what style of patchwork you're wanting to, to put it into. If you're going to just use it, so if I just refer back to this. Yes. Okay. I know this is cotton twill, um, but it's that sort of, this was obviously uh, patchwork strips at the top and bottom. Yes. There's no stabiliser. And it was just literally, I've left it um, to show you. So it was wadding and then the backing. Yes. Nothing in there at all. Uh, for something like the quilt that I've got here, Again, I don't use a stabiliser. Right. But if you want um, to add it, a, a patchwork design to something that's a little bit stronger, mm -hmm. um, you can add a stabiliser. But I have to say, so the poplin is generally what you would patchwork with, and this is this is your this is your poplin. And I have to say, I know it's difficult because you can't feel it, but this feels like you know the hundred percent cottons that we bring yes, to wear. It that's is exactly what yes. it feels like. So I would say just use it like that. I, it doesn't it, it doesn't, doesn't feel coated. It doesn't feel anything no. like that. It doesn't need a stabiliser. You just use it like you would yeah. fabric. And um, if you wanted. To use it for applique, you could put something like a fusible um, interfacing on the back yeah. and use it exactly the same as you would normal fabric, cut it out, um, you'd iron it onto yeah. your you know, design um, and then stitch around the edge. So if you just think of it as um, it you is know, just a piece of fabric. In your, yeah, in your, um, in your stash, you probably have lots of different printed fabrics. Just yes. use it like that. Yes. The only difference is, is that you've chosen what's printed on it, and that is the absolute yes. joy. Yeah. There's no waxy surface. No. There's none of that. There's none of that. It doesn't feel any different. No. It just feels like fabric. So this is the poplin. That's your main graphic on the screen at the moment. Uh, and you can just see, this is just normal cotton. This is generally for your quilt quilting, things like that. So anywhere where you would normally use just normal cotton, 100% cotton, that's the one. If you want the, tw yeah, think of our, our Macau um, yes. Spectrum Solids, it's that that kind it of is. thing. It is, it um, yeah. If you want the twill, if you want uh, more of a sort of a canvassy feel, a heavier weight, then go for the twill. If you want to really be special, go for the silk. Oh, here's a face I recognise. Right. Well, before I go on to starting my uh, stitching, I just want to, on that point, if you wanted to print out something on a patchwork, but you don't want the whole A4 sheet, yes, um, you might want smaller photographs. So um, this was um, a collage of photos of Freddie that you sent to me that I've played with. Now, which way do I need to be? This side uh, or this way? Yeah. Okay, I'll leave Face that in to you. Way. There okay. we go. That's fine. So, so this is the boy. Yep. Yeah, so uh, if I show you before spots. Before, before chicken yes. pox. Have I bought three? Okay. So um, these were the photographs and I did that with a sepia finish. Right. Okay. And actually I just did these on my phone. I didn't have any photo editing screen for this one. Uh, this was black yeah, and white. because I can send photos straight to my printer. So you that's can. amazing. So I did this again. Uh, same photos, black and white, but I did a colour filter so that we emphasised, obviously, one of the photos. Yes. Now, you can use your photos as a collage yes. if you want to in your patchwork quilt, or like Sue has done, she's cut out uh, each individual photograph and then put it into a patch. There's no reason why you can't use this. Like, you know how we sell the panels, the patchwork panels? Yes. That you could just use these as panels and then patchwork and then... Yes, well, that's that's similar Quilt to the, around it. That's similar to um, this one. Instead of one image, you would um, put this onto uh, the one in the middle and then patch around that as well. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. And then the final one, just before we move on, yeah. this is the same photograph, um, but I've added some text. 
Uh -huh. And then some texture, some texture behind. Oh. So again, um, you can um, take a, a photograph of, say, I don't know, I've just got it to hand, this lovely green. This is the uh, green macaw we mm. mentioned about that, uh, that's coming up. And um, again, if you wanted that background, that colour background mm. for a particular project, so you can match your fabric. You might have something at home that think, actually, I want to put that into my project. Take a photograph of it, and then you can print on top of that colour, and you're yes. then changing the colour palette as well. So that's another one. Okay. Oh, that's so brilliant. Can I just oh, show? So many, so many. Um... I know, so many ideas. So I'm just going to show you how to use your image of the the ideas that we've just shown you. Now this is this is the silk. This, this is, is silk. the beautiful silk, yes. and this is bringing a texture onto. Yes. Yeah, so this is cotton. if you want to take it to another step, uh, another level of combining your textures okay oh. so what I've done here is I've printed out this image now if I just explain what I've done on the image um, it's using those layers okay you might want to do this at home with some of your photographs Should we just spin that around oh yep sorry I thought I had it right there you go. that's fine um, right so my uh, background image was the sage green mm -hmm. and um, I've actually this motif here the flowers that was on a particular photo editing suite that I, I use but um, you could use, um, you know, a, a photograph at home. Mm -hmm. I've then added a vintage image into the middle, but you could put your photograph into the middle yes, there, use it as a frame. And then I've overlaid it with um, an old postcard Lovely. that you can put your writing on there. Do you know, I think you're so right about this whole, the whole writing thing. I mean, I've because got Because it just packets. protects those yeah, handwriting. You see my we grandma, see I've got her, her button box and she's written on the back of the button packaging yes, yeah. uh, what it was for. And, yeah. and, and that's very, I've I got know, very little so of her writing. So, so to actually be able to put that into a fabric. <gasps> yeah. So, so exciting. But also you're capturing social history. So you've got, you know, the stamp, you've got a date on there. Yes. Um, you know, there's all sorts of little elements that you can add into your projects. And even Once if you, you don't want to do it. anything, you could use that panel into a patchwork quilt or cushion or bag or whatever because all the work's done in that without oh doing gosh. anything else it's so exciting when you start thinking about the possibilities <laughs> and but capturing this uh, as as it is memory you've just got perfect. to think past a piece of silk yes. of how you can bring it all in so what i wanted to show you is how you add more texture i've got the uh Makawa, um green fabric mm -hmm. um, i don't think it's called green i think it's is it something Sage, it's the linear, the linear texture. The linear effect, Lin isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, if viewers have seen me before, they quite often see me turn fabric the wrong way round. I'm just going to, there you go. The details for the antique garden, linen textures down okay. the bottom there. It's 4 95 per half a metre. Okay, because if you're using vintage um, images, sometimes you don't want the bright fabrics, but you actually want the details. Mm -hmm. So I've actually just turned this around because I, actually, I love this faded effect of here. So that's it, and that's it's, what you're getting so you, when you get you it. So you might prefer it, if I just turn that, you might prefer the actual dark green, mm -hmm. um, but I've turned it over to give you another aspect. If you aspect. use it as a border. You could do both. You could frame it, couldn't you? Patchwork. That's quite, oh, oh, that's a bit special, That would be nice, it? wouldn't it? So I we need four hours of this. We do. Um, so I've got my silk, I've got my macaua, and then we've got the um, wadding underneath. Okay. Okay. And all I'm doing to start with is I'm actually just using a normal sewing thread before I go on to embroidery. And I've just, I'm just doing a row of stitches around my frame to just lift that um, image. Well, this, this okay. starts to be um, hand-stitched patchwork, doesn't it? Yes. So this is, this is taking it into even another level. So I wouldn't have thought of using a silk in a patchwork, but actually what an utter treat that is. And to be able to use something so soft, because this is it, it's fabric, yes, it's about how beautiful the actual um, design is, but you've decided what, how beautiful your design is because you've printed it on now it's about texture which is why we've bought you the silk uh, the the twill and the poplin also available you might be stashed stocking up on that but this is the first time that we've ever bought you silk on air and to be able to yes. work with silk like this and it's not um it's not a thin silk that's difficult no, to it, work it's with not a, a, it's not a it's a really it, it's a really fabulous quality um 
and look you can just you can see how beautiful that that is to move and you can see that has been printed on but it's not sitting on it you've still got that drape there's none of that um crusty on top bit that you get no, with some of if it you, it's if you just go there against perfect. this and then you go against the cushion so if i so this i'm just going to pass these over as well because um, you can't hear anything this was another brand where it sort of sits on top Ooh. Um, which you know you might have tried before this is so different in that it doesn't sit on top each thread is is coated with this special printable whatever it is I, I don't it's know it's a what beautiful the technical stuff. Um, sheen as well I, I, w I wish um, I could show you the sheen on the because um, I know obviously we I can think, show yeah. you it on air but it's not quite the same as being right next to it but there it looks go. like a really expensive uh, silk scarf that you'd buy in a Ooh. you know a department store lavender cushions things like that <laughs> mix Beautiful. it in with your lace Ooh. but i'm gonna throw something else in the mix ladies and gentlemen Ooh. because um we talked about putting an image onto silk and we talked about weddings yes um you could actually cut out these because it is silk you could cut out the flowers use the image yes. and have them as silk flowers for um, little corsages or little bridesmaids oh poses wow. because you've got the quality of the fabric there it just you know I just think oh, that, that would be would beautiful be amazing. and then it would be so so personal so so personal uh, once you once you start thinking You're about it, oh my goodness, with ideas. you are, you really, you really are. are. Um, my sister-in-law-to-be yes. comes from a very big family. Okay. And at Christmas time, because they're so big, they tend to make a gift. Yes. For, you know, rather than sort of have the expense of buying for everyone. And so she often makes like a Christmas tree ornament oh, or something yes. for, for each family member. Um, but suddenly you start thinking, yes. actually, if you're going to the to the to the time and the trouble and the effort of making something personalized really well personalized. decorations you know, you know yes. even little hanging de decorations for well, christmas have, yeah silky sheeny you know Beautiful. it doesn't have to be weddings we're talking about weddings and you know summer but obviously i know a lot of viewers are thinking of the c word out there at christmas and um <laughs> <laughs> but um you can then add your own little decorations or make something personal um, that you can actually put onto the Christmas tree or, yeah, you know, e even at, you know, at the weddings. Perfect. How are we doing for time, Tash? Um, we have got about 10 minutes left. Okay, so can I just demonstrate how we, we just add yeah. a little bit more? Uh... So just by going around, you've, you've given yes. some depth. So can you see how I've actually pulled up, the, the, I've pulled them up just very gently to sort of lift that image. Yes. And I don't know if, if you can see, um, yeah. it's, it's not completely flat now because of the wadding. Um, you've got a little bit of depth there. So now I'm going to add, uh, I think I might just add some little daisies at the bottom here with um, some of the embroidery thread. And again, you're adding a different texture. Um, so we've got the cotton fabric, mm -hmm. which is the linen effect. We've got the silk. Mm -hmm. We've had the ordinary sewing um, mm -hmm. cotton going around. And now I'm adding the embroidery silk. Which has given silks. that quilted effect. And this is, you know, just play with it i i can't emphasize enough this is don't be afraid of this it's just fabric once you've printed it it comes on a carrier sheet so it can go through your printer but as soon as you take it off look it's just fabric and and use it as you would you would yes any yes. fabric so this is your silk this is your beautiful silk and the silk um i have to say if you um again if you compare the silk compared to the cotton um, I've stitched on the cotton here, but the silk has such a different finish when you, you do actually slow stitch on top. You could also do free motion embroidery on top. Um, and going back to, um, I can't remember the lady's name, was it Sue who asked about the stabiliser? Oh, Sue, yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, um, no, was it Sue? I can't remember who asked I apologise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lady um, who asked about stabiliser. If you were doing free motion embroidery on it, you would obviously use a stabiliser because that's what you would do but with as free you motion. would any other now but talking not, of yeah. free motion embroidery next week we've got angela atwood coming yes. on to do some free motion embroidery with the threads so if you'll get your threads today yes then yes. you can stitch along with angie which yes. is fab isn't it because yeah, then you, you, you know we're giving you the heads a, up a quilter. on that yeah um, and i know she's she's you know like, i'm not a quilter but i know angie's a quilter and she does a lot of free motion like i she's do gonna use the and silk. she's going to use the silk yeah. I, I think she's also so, you know, obviously showcasing the others, but um, she's going to show you what you can do with the quilt, with the silk there. So, yes, get, get uh, stocked up.
and uh, you'll have it ready to oh, see what, what she's done. Oh, lovely. Yes. Really lovely. So that's a little a little heads up heads for up. you. Yes. So if you grab this today, um, then you'll be ready to stitch along with Angie. So um, $29.95 gets you your printable silk. First time we've bought you printable silk. It's very, lovely. very exciting. It is. Now, what are you doing? Right. Here, Tilly? Okay. So I'm just finishing off and then I can show you. Okay. There we go. So I've just added another... Um, little lazy daisy and what I want to do is almost you see where um, we've got the frame here of the flowers yes I'm going to add um, just a bouquet of flowers really around this edge so I'm not going to go into the image okay but I'm just going to build up using uh, the different embroidery threads that we've got and I have to say this pack of threads you've got so so many colors um, and you can pick out obviously elements then oh, match yeah, those them colors go don't they you know you Beautiful. can just really pick out. Um, and you were saying about a, a border. I'm just going to turn that over because I really like that idea. And I might do that after the show. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> why not? But can you see how you can really just pick out? Yes. So it mirrors. Um, and, and so that's where the base, you know, the base of using your silk, you can actually do that. So I'm going to, uh, shall I carry yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. I'm all right to yeah. carry on. Yeah, sure. Okay. Gorgeous. So today, first time ever, we're bringing you the silk threads. If you've never played with threads before, it is a printable fabric, which is just exquisite. We've got three different types. So you've got poplin, twill, and we've got the silk, but the silk is brand new today. Uh, now, the, I know a lot of you are asking about which embroidery skeins we're using. We're using the 100 embroidery floss skeins, $14.95. You've got 100 in there, so you've got all, all yes, the colours. and you've got um, such a selection. You know, you've got a couple of each, and... Um, even if you've got some embroidery already in your stash, I just think you can never have too many embroidery threads because oh, no, you, you know you add. Um, just going back to what you were just saying there, Tash, I just want to add. I know some viewers out there um, find if you mention the word computer and, and laptop and printers and things, it's almost a bit of a oh I did and because I've never really done that. Um, don't be frightened. It is so easy. Mm. Um, and I'm just going to say, shall we? Can we print while I'm stitching? Can I get you to print? Yeah, of course because you can. I know we were saying about, um, you know, how easy it is. But yes, um, obviously I'm used to doing it, and I can come along and go boom, 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 boom. And I just want to show viewers how easy it is. I'd love it. If, come on, computer. Has she gone up. to sleep? Yeah, it's gone to sleep. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so. so at home, all you would need is um, an inkjet printer. Mm -hmm. You would need an image. Mm -hmm. So do you want to print this one that we're doing here? Oh, right, I was going to yeah. print Freddie off, yeah. There oh, you can print Freddie, Yay! yes, print Freddie. Uh, so I'm just going into print. Uh, yeah, you go into, yes, yes. Yep. And uh, you need to, sorry. Full page. You need full page. High quality mat. Um, I'd go on this one here. That's it, and then you've got him in there. Yay, off I go. Oh, I haven't put the, the you thing put in. The That's going to help, isn't it? If I actually <laughs> put the, the thread in. I'm going to leave you to sew while I, okay. while I sort myself out over here. Okay. So, okay. So, yes, you do Tell need us to... what you're doing. You do need to put your fabric in there and make sure it's the right way. If you remember, the fabric is facing towards you. If Hope you're a I've top, done it. top loader. And uh, if it's a, a bottom... You know, it flips up. You need to have it on the reverse. A bottom feeder. A bottom feeder. That sounds I'm like sure we're under the ocean. I know we feel like fishing. Yes, we? yes. Bottom. <laughs> I'm sure um, there's a technical term out there. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to thread my needle. Sorry, I put the wrong needle in. I was talking to you and I picked up the wrong needle. Let me go for this one. Um, so, yes. Um, and then once you um, have uh, printed it out, then all you need to do is just peel it off. Um, give it a couple of minutes just to, you know, make sure that it's dry. All the instructions are in the pack, though. So if you worry, you think, I can't remember what she said, or I've got to go and check. All the details are on all the previous shows, as obviously today. But you will get a set of instructions in the pack. And um, threads pride themselves on, on, on the packaging where they say it's print, peel, and create. Print, you know. go, yeah. So um, you're just going to go. I think so. got, one of these has got lavender in I keep oh, getting wafts they? of, of oh, some, yeah, some, something somewhere's got lavender I think in. Angie did those for her show, didn't she? When um, Oh yeah, look at this. So this, this says congratulations on 40 years. So, you know, she's printed text onto it as well. So you've, yes, got, you you've can. got that message. It might be that you, you don't so have an embroidery. So it'd make a beautiful little present, a little gift. And 40 years of love and laughter. And there you go. There's the picture on the front. And it might be that you capture some family quotes or sayings that's quite personal to you or, yes. or to them um, that you can add in there. You don't have to obviously use um, anything. 
I'm just going to carry on stitching, is that okay? Yeah, no, please do, because it's lovely to watch. Okay, so I'm just doing a lazy daisy, which is um, a chain stitch. Mm -hmm. For anybody out there who wants to know, um, I'm just literally popping the thread around my needle. So I'm making just a little chain. Um, I'm using three strands of the embroidery thread because I think that's a nice thickness to show against the silk. Um, but you could use um, ordinary um, sewing thread intermixed. I'm just going to go around and then I'm going to get you to show on the two samples there as well, Tash, that um, I like to mix my threads up. So on this one, this was done on the cotton poplin and I've only used ordinary sewing thread for that one. Okay, so let me just, let me show you that. There you go. Yeah. So this has got just ordinary just sewing thread. Just ordinary sewing thread. thread that you'd put through your sewing machine. But it just gives it that highlight. It gives it, it that, that crisp, it frosty does. look. But, but you could use one. metallic threads. You could use your oh, yeah. um, machine embroidery threads. You can use, you know, all sorts of things. And then if you want a, a nice thickness, um, if you show the canvas, um, I've got the embroidery threads on there because I use the pack that we've got on the show for this one yeah and I've intermixed it then intermixed I'm sure that's that's the right term um, mixed it with um, ordinary sewing thread so you can see the different combinations oh, coming through here yeah really beautiful so we've just got over just a minute left okay I'm always finished um, I'm going to show you an image from Sharon apparently oh lovely Look at this. Oh, so yes. She's scanning I, a I wanted to say did. this. Oh, thank you, Sharon. How because that's lovely. Me. So that's Sharon's drawings of, of her, their children. How lovely to keep that. Wouldn't gorgeous. that be gorgeous? You, I mean, this is it, isn't it? So she, she scanned that into the poplin, made a cushion cover, and that is I a memory to keep idea. forever. Yes. Um, we are rapidly running out of time. Okay, done, um, done, done, done. I think the that possibilities way. are endless. Here we go. There's this not is, enough time. No, I know there in never in is. There absolutely never is. But there you go. So just, uh, just a, a hint of where to start with here. So quilted round the edge and then with just normal thread and then some embroidery thread in there. Um, now this is using the silk, but here silk is the silk. Shamuse. 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 Uh, $29.95 for that. Brand new today, yes. but what an absolute treat. Um, we are rapidly running out of time. Tilly, you're gonna be back in an hour's yes, time. Yes. Please check out your baskets. I don't want anybody missing out. Pop in some poplin and some yes, twill, please. and then you've got all so of the different textures to play with. Thank you so much. Thank I will you. see and you in an hour. hour. I will see you in just one moment. Okay. Bye. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step.
follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. requirements but I just want to show you because we didn't get a chance this is what we just printed off onto the silk um, and I yeah I just I pressed print and off it went there he is there's the boy thank you so much by the way for all of your really kind comments he is recovering from his chicken pox and there you go that is on your silk just finished off printing and then just click print peel create there it is there he is on silk $29.95 for your silk, treat it as a normal fabric, bish bash bosh, off you go. But that's what we did on the last show. I just wanted to show you that because that is how easy it is. Now, if you're quilting with it, let's have a look at some other ideas. Now, um, a great book to start off with, and I absolutely really, really rate this book. This is your how to quilt book. I just love this. Um, it is super easy to follow but it takes you from the very very basics all the way through um it look it just is here we go let's take that off there um it takes you through what types of fabric how fabrics come you know because it might be that you're new to all of this and go a jelly what what's a jelly roll what's a charm pack it's you know you've got to you've got to learn haven't you it's all in here design rolls all these different names like what is the difference between a design roll and a jelly roll well they're the same um so all these sorts of things that you might not know you're sewing basics your different stitches um how to lay out your quilts how to measure them how to stitch them it's all in here then you have tech techniques and projects so you get a little little well if you've never tried English paper piecing so it's not all machine stitched and you see look at that now maybe you want to do a little lavender keepsake something like that uh, maybe you want to do that with your threads and have a little picture in each of those you know the possibilities then start and that would make your threads just go so far if you English paper piece with that rag quilting I've not tried that yet but I'd love to give it a go so it's not just going to be um, you know just one style of quilting hand tied quilting lots of different ideas and then it gives you a, um, a, an idea on how to use it a project to use that style then you've got your duffel bag love that that's with your strips perfect easy to do really lovely very beautifully laid out easy it's got photographs when it needs it diagrams when it needs that your table mat little projects it doesn't have to be a full bone quilt and then you've got speed piecing like that uh, there you go I mean that as a, as a board fabulous um, and it's up to you then the size that you want to do um, play mat lovely idea for a new for a newborn and then here we go you could for the play mat maybe you want to put images on the play mat maybe on your table runner you want to put some Christmas images I mean we went with photographs but it could be any design any image imagine your bed cover having all of your own designs and images on there absolutely gorgeous um, you also get the templates in the back I love this book I rate it very very much um, it's easy to use easy to understand and it is just $7.95 now once you get going and you need beautiful fabrics oh, 
I was absolutely thrilled to see today as Kaif on the show, Kay Fassett on the show. Now, this is something that I haven't seen from him before. And I was just laying it out because I want to show you how beautiful this is. Now, this is how it comes to you, all beautifully wrapped. But what you're getting here is six inch strips of fabric, of Kaif Fassett fabric. Just look how gorgeous these are. I mean, this is an absolute showstopper, isn't it? In fact, it's just a complete feast for the eye. I love it. I mean, just look at these. I'm just going to lay them out so you can really see the diversity that you're getting. 20 pieces here. These are all folded in half, by the way, so you're getting double the length. So if I just... Here, oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. So this one here, that's the length that you're getting in six inches, absolutely stunning. But the designs on these, just exquisite. 53.95 for this. But just think, it, you, might, you might use them just as the strips sewn together, off you go. It might be that you want to use these and then cut them down into six inch squares and then you're ready to go. You'd end up with a five and a half inch finished square if you did that and how far that would go. Look at those. Absolutely stunning. 20 pieces in here for $53.95. This is not your normal design roll. This is not your normal jelly roll. These are six inches wide, but you can just see the smorgasbord of color coming through here. Absolutely exquisite. You've got some of the beautiful florals in there. This seashell one I haven't seen before. That is just divine. Look at that. That's what you're getting. And because this is your six inch rather than your two and a half inch, so it's more than double the width of your normal design strip, you are getting so much more of that design coming through. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So if you're after something like this, wow, I've never seen a six inch design strip like this before. Just beautiful, 53.95, KBRW04. Love, love, love it. I'm gonna, ooh. I'm just gonna shimmy that over there. I'm gonna keep, can we keep that out? Because it's a bit special, isn't it, that one? Ooh, lovely, we'll keep that out so that you can just keep admiring it. Now, if you're used to your usual two and a half inch strips, then we've got those for you as well. This is how it comes. Again, more K for you. What a treat. Um, very limited on this because you've, you've loved it a lot. Um, but here, this gives you an idea of the colors that you're getting in here. So these are your reds and how gorgeous they are. So you're getting all sorts of colors, designs, but all in those warm, beautiful reds and around they come so it just gives you an idea and again this is cut when you get a design roll it's cut selvage to selvage so you do get a great long strip here to play with um, and you can just see how the colors just keep coming so this is kaif so if you would like this is from the red collection here um, this is your classic kaif Oh, yes, classic. Everyone loves a spot of classic kaif, don't they? Here it is. These are the colors that you're going to be getting. Absolutely exquisite, um, as you would expect from kaif. In your beautiful reds, all gorgeous, all coming to you for $42.95. It gives you a good showcase of kaif, doesn't it? That's what you're getting with these strips. Is Oh, look at that. Look at that, that is just gorgeous. So for $42.95, you are gonna get all of that, but it's that and it's very limited. Let me, mm, 30 strips there. Nice, there it is. Oh, I do feel spoilt. Um, now, brand new product. Well, here we go. And something that we've seen before, but they work hand in hand absolutely beautifully. Now, a lot, especially when Joe Carter is on, we use the fabric marker a lot. Fabulous, you say, great. Um, always check your fabric before you use a fabric marker, but say you're doing your facial features 
for, for your critters. Then, and that is your washable, wipeable fabric marker. Sorry, I just dropped the lid on the floor. Uh, just tidying up, it's like being at home. Now this is the brand new bit because what we now have is a water pen. Now you can use these in many, many ways. Now what you'll see here is a chamber of water in the middle there. And I'm going to show you how to fill this up. So you get your glass of water, you just twist, take the nib part off, and you're left with just the chamber. If you ever had ink pens at school with the refillable cartridges, it's basically the same. Plunger goes out, empties it, fresh water in, just draw it up, and that draws the water up into the chamber. This is brand new today. There you go. So that now is filled with water, and then you can, you can press down if you want to uh, just flood that nib a little bit with water. But here's the thing, okay, this works twofold. Firstly, you can use it to mark your fabric. So if you're worried about using a pen on, then it doesn't matter because it's not going to damage. Let me write this upside down. It's not going to damage your fabric. It's just water going on there. And so you can see, you can use that to mark, and then as it dries, it just disappears. But if you have used your water erasable fabric marker and you don't want to wash the whole project, you know, imagine when I come in and Joe Carter's there uh, with the bunny face down on the radiator um, and she's giving it a good old wash look. All you need to do is go in with the pen and just rub over it with your water pen and that will start to erase. So if you've got water erasable pens, there you go. It's disappearing, it's gone. Also fab, if you want to, there you go, it's disappeared. Also fab, if you want to um, get a crease involved um, on, your, on your fabric. So you see now, I would just press my, uh, press my plunger down to get more water coming through there. And then I would use that water part there to then help me fold it. And then when I iron that, it's, it's like using steam, isn't it? But without having to have the steam setting on because you've already got that, that water in the fabric. So if you, you know how you're not meant to steam your fabrics when you press them, then just do this. And then it's giving you that same effect, but only on that crease line. Gives you that lovely crisp edge which is absolutely fab. Now, um, I've used it on a light fabric there. Here we go. Uh, and let me just show you here on a dark fabric. There you go. You can see absolutely brilliant to use. This is how it comes to you because you, uh, you get extra nibs. So for 10.95, you get three refill nibs as well, and it's coming to you in a, there you go, in your packet. There's the packet. Oh, there we go. Do you want to, do you want to see it all looking pretty in its packaging? There you go, this is how it's coming to you. Looking lovely. And you can just see, as it starts to dry, it's not leaving any marks on my fabric. So it's all starting to go there. And then over here, look, you can see the smiley face is now just your water. Where I wrote hello there, going. What a useful kit. What a useful piece of kit. If you use water erasable pens, this is the one for you. This is vital, absolutely vital. Um, if you want to just bring more, whilst you're, whilst you're writing, if you want to just put more water in, there's got two little things at the side where it says push. And just pushing that allows more water through. So I just push that to allow more water through if I need. And through it comes. That's brilliant. I really do rate this. And there it is, just seeping into my fabric. It's not going to mark it. I don't have to worry about it. You know, some fabrics you just don't want to use a pen on. Hey, now, here's another thing. What if I've mismarked something and I just want to take some off? 
then you can just take a little section off. You can just do that. And you can, you can then see that that's gone, where your water erasable is on there, that's gone. Just brilliant. What a handy piece of kit for just 10.95. Three extra nibs in there as well. Absolutely fab. If I want to use it to help fold, of course, then that's what I would do. I would just get a ruler. Because you're just working with a nib, just use it as you would with a ruler. Just go across there. So you get your line, fold on that line, iron it, and then you're ironing in. You're, you're giving it that extra, extra crease because you're basically creating the steam that you don't, you know, you wouldn't use a steam setting, would you? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What a great piece of kit for just $10.95. Brand new today, never been on air before. And of course, all you need to do is just add, as I like to call it, your council juice. Just add your water and off you go. $10.95 for that. YXPH16. If you use any kind of water erasable pen, that is a must. Oh, yes. So there you go. You get your three spare nibs down the bottom there. You can see as part of that. Fabulous. And you can see I wrote Natasha on. Oh, no, I wrote sewing quarter on here. And there it is just starting to fade. Just that, and it hasn't damaged the fabric in any way, shape or form. Now you can see this was where I um, wrote hello and also had my smiley face. That smile is fading. Oh, well, I've got a question. Oh, Marcia, hello, Marcia. That water pen would be perfect to use with best press for needle turned applique. Great. Brilliant, brilliant idea. Well done, Marcia, absolutely. You see, this is it, isn't it? You're already thinking about how you're going to use it because it is just a fabulous product. I, you see, I didn't even know things like this existed, you know, and, and then it's one of those things that you don't know you need until you need it. So very, very useful to have there. Talking of useful to have, whoops, um, your classic creative grids. Now, if you are patchworking, you know here at Seven Quarter, we do love our creative grids. And it is for many reasons. Firstly, they're designed by quilters for quilters. Um, it is, um, let me just grab a piece of this so that you could see. Um, it is a UK based company, but they get top quilters from around the world to design their, quil uh, their, uh, their quilting rulers. Now you can see, because I've held this fabric behind it, you can see an opaque edge around. Now that is quarter of an inch there and there. And on this side and the bottom, that is half an inch. But what that actually is, is a non-slip uh, grip built in to that plastic, as are all these little circles here. And that what sets um, Creative Grids apart from other rulers is this non-slip grip, which means, and I'm going to pop this down here, that on, even on that small square there, once that is on there, look, I'm just... I'm applying, you can see from the color of my fingers, I'm, a, I'm applying a, a great deal of pressure. That is not budging. And if I just wanted to cut a little bit off the corner, once a pressure is applied, that's not going anywhere. I'm not going to um, waste fabric from miscutting here because that is gripping. That is absolutely gripping and that is the joy. Now, you'll notice that you've got um, two different in fact, there we go. Let me just hold it there. You've got two different colors of lettering here. You've got along here in the white, just your normal inches. And again, this is another thing that sets Creative Grids apart. And that's your normal inches. And then that has your quarter of an inch on the grip. But if I spin it around and I get the black numbers, this has added a half an inch to it. So if you want like a three inch finish, then all you would need to do is cut on that three and a half inch line, measure it up from there. And that gives you your half an inch there with your non-slip grip so well thought out. You've got white and you've got black um, markings so that whatever color fabric you're working on, you're gonna be able to see it. There it is on a dark fabric and you can see the whites coming through. If I move it across onto here, then you can still see there 
Um, there you go, you can see all the black marks coming through there. Now, of course, your six and a half inch is your classic quilting size. If you're cutting blocks down, then sometimes, you know, using a big ruler, it's too unwieldy. You just want that small technical, especially if you're using one of those rotating cutting mats, having that smaller ruler is absolutely perfect for that. So this is for your smaller size blocks to get those cut absolutely accurately without having to wield around uh, larger rulers. Absolutely fab, $14.95 for that RTCQ48. We love, love, love it. A great starter ruler. Yay, now, um, once you get going, this is it. I, I think that with Creative Grids, that once you get quilting, you'll add to your stash of them. So as and when, oh, we've got a message in from someone collecting. Yeah. So she's getting one every so often, every so often when she can afford it, she grabs another one. Now this is another brilliant one to add. This is your non-slip 60 degree ruler, which is 12 and a half inches. Um, now you can see the 12 and a half inches is your height of it. Um, 12 and a half inches there, 12 and a half inches there. This is your 60 degree ruler, okay? So when you start working with your triangles, doing all those sorts of things, then it gives you an idea down here, two different ways to use it, but there are lots more. If you have a QR reader on your phone, simply scan that in and it will take you to lots of YouTube videos on how to use this tool. But when you get the packaging, it will also give you um, a code, it will also give you um, the website for you to go and then get all of those videos. So if you're getting this, having never used it before, there is a great how-to guide. Don't throw your packaging away because that also gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use these. So again, another really handy piece of kit. Rachel Cross is the daughter of the founders. It's a lovely family business, $22.95. I think John calls her Rachel the Ruler. Yes, she likes to give people's names. Yeah. Okay. Now, here we go. This is a natty piece of kit that, um, do you know what? Every now and then I just think, why haven't I got that yet? Why have I not bought that yet? And, and I just think I'm silly because I should have this in my kit. It's so brilliant. Let me show you what it does. This is your seams right. So um, it's got all of those, uh, those measurements that you use day in, day out. So, for example, using my fabric marker, if I am marking up my buttons, then if I want to do an inch mark for my buttons, I can do that. I can then use this to go okay, where if I want them, say, three quarters of an inch apart, then I would then mark that there, get my tool, there it is, and then there we go. I'm marking where I want my buttons to go, but whoops, I've made a mistake, doesn't matter. I get my little water erasable tool out, raise that, and off we go. Um, or maybe I've made it too long. Now, that's, oh, my water pen detail's coming in for that down the bottom. Here's the other thing that you might want to do. Um, you might want to mark an inch for your seam and you might want to do that and then use that as a guide to then fold and hem. You might want to just do that and then just iron it as you go. Obviously be careful don't, because that will get hot. Um, or you just want to check your seam allowance and go, okay, so I need a half an inch seam allowance, then you've got that. So that tape, you know when tape measures, they have that annoying little bit at the end, that little bit of metal at the end to stop it from fraying at the end? This gives you that detailed measurement that that cuts off. So you've got, for example, three eighths of an inch there. You've got three eighths there. You've got an inch and a half along there. You've got five eighths. And again, these are on a corner. So if you're mitering corners, then you can check that you've got it exactly right all the way around. Seven eighths is there. You've got an inch there. Um, and then you've got a quarter of an inch there to check. And then up here, coming all the way up here, one and an eighth. And then you've got a half an inch there, quarter of an inch to check there. Have I got that quarter of an inch right? 
all of those measurements that you use day in, day out on here. And here, this is your buttonhole. Maybe you just want a half an inch buttonhole then that's fine, you can just mark that off. Um, and then maybe you're gonna then do it at an inch. Great, mark it off again. Absolutely brilliant. So lots of ways in which you can use this. It's a fabulous piece of kit and you can see here where I use my water erasable pen, that has then gone. So this is your pen here. If I've got, say, oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't actually want those. Then just squeeze to get the to get the water flowing, and then just take the water erasable pen out. You could of course use the water erasable pen for marking in the first place. That will now just lift off and erase. Brilliant. Absolutely love it. Brand new today. You can see here where this is this is gone. That I did that an inch long, same as this one. Gone. Let me just uh, start to erase that as well. So imagine you've marked out, when we have Jocarta, she always marks out faces, doesn't she, on her animals with her water erasable pen. Then grab this and then you can just erase it without having to wash the whole thing. And that's the joy of it. You've got three replacement nibs in there as well for all 10 95 um, Great value. Absolute great value. It might be that you want to um, use your rulers. Whee! So there you go, that is it putting on there. And then you would just fold along that line. And already that's so much easier to fold. And then when you iron it, you've got that water. If you get that to the iron quick, then you've got that that's going to create a steam which is gonna then really press that in, but you're only pressing with the iron. And normally you wouldn't put a steam setting on, but that is gonna really make that crisp. Even if you just wanna finger press it. <gasps> Producer Hannah, you know what I've just thought? There's no reason that you couldn't fill that with your best press spray. I don't know. I don't know if that would then, if you, if you would then finger press, if you've tried that, let us know, because then you would basically be folding in a starched. Oh, I wonder if you could do that. No reason why not, I don't think. You've got spare nibs. Hey, look, the possibilities are endless. Once you get it home, you try, you play. You've got three nibs. Maybe have one for your best press, one for your water. It's entirely up to you. But you can just see, because that water's in there and it's pressed down, that's just finger pressed. And already, look, that's given us a lovely crease line there. So that's without even pressing it with an iron. What a great piece of kit. Lots of goodies on today's show. So there you, there you details. Um, YXPH16 for that. Ooh, lovely. Um, so here we go. What would, okay, now. Um, if you work in your dining room, if you go off to workshops and you want to take your cutting mat with you, maybe you're just pressed for space, or maybe if you're like me, it doesn't matter how much space, but you only ever end up working on a space that size, then your foldable cutting mat is the way to go. Brilliant, you've got centimeters, you've got inches with this, um, but here's the thing. Then when you need the bigger cutting mat, it just opens out. You've got your, um, you've got your 45 degree angles, your 30 degree angles, your 60 degree angles. Now, so you've got centimeters there. So you've got two different tape measures. You've got centimeters there. And then you've got your inches along the bottom there. Uh, which is great. So you've always got that reference, whether you're working in centimeters or inches, it's always got that reference. It's going to fold away really nice and easy. Pop that in your bag, take it with you, slide it down the side of your sewing machine, in your sewing machine bag, take it with you. $23.95. When it says, it says down here, do not cut this area. That's, that's just because that's where like don't cut in the straight line along there as you'll cut straight through there, but cut everywhere else. That's all. 23.95 MGGQ38. 
I do love this mat. Space saving, but then when you need the extra space, you've got it. Um, you know, we don't always have a luxury of a workroom. We don't always have that much space. Sometimes, actually, I want to be able to spin my mat around, but it's too big. Um, so actually, this is a really handy one to have. $23.95, MGGQ38 is your code for that. Now, <laughs> rotary cutters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, two from Fiskars. I'm going to start with this one uh, because we don't show this one, to my mind, often enough. I do love it. It looks... No way around. It looks weird. It does look weird. I get that. Now, you can use this if you're left or you're right handed. Okay, now, if you want to use it just as a normal rotary cutter, then you just put it like that and use it as you would any rotary cutter okay that's no problem at all um, you can turn the blade around because you you know easy to take out as well now here's the thing you can only move this blade you press down on that to move it put it in three different angles uh, so you've got it there you've got it straight ahead you've got it 45 degrees that way and then you have what they call the power mode, which is there. So if you get um, tired through cutting lots of different um, lots of different layers of fabric, this is the way to go. Because as soon as I do that, can you see all of my weight that I apply is going straight over the top of that blade. It's not dissipated by having the blade out there. All of my weight, all of my pressure is going down that way, which is absolutely fab. So hang on, how many pieces of fabric have I got here? One, two, three, let's fold that in half. Let's cut through six pieces of fabric straight off. Let's not even think about it. Let's use, here we go. So in order to bring that blade out, now that that blade is exposed, I cannot swivel that blade. It won't let me. It's got that safety feature built in. And this is my power mode. So all of the pressure that I am applying there, done. Cover the blade. Six layers, no problem at all. Love it. Let's double it up, because we can. So that's six layers, doubled up to 12 in my power mode. Oh, hang on. Here we go. 12 layers of fabric. Look how cleanly that has cut. You'll see that that didn't actually, look how small I folded that. I folded that to two inches. And that Creative Grids has held that nicely so that I can then get that great cut. And the reason that I've managed to cut through 12 layers of fabric in one pass is because, look, all of my weight, all of my push is directly on top. Now, if I want to cut at a different angle, now, you see, it will only let me move it because it's shut. Okay, as soon as I take that blade, it's not going to. Now, if I want to cut away from me, look how easy that is. I've moved that blade angle. I've moved that blade angle there. And if I then want to cut away from me, I can now take my blade and away I go. That is really easy. So full control, left or right-handed. If you're left-handed, you can swivel it around the other way. That's no problem. Or, oh yeah, producer Hannah, you're left-handed, aren't you? Do you struggle? Yes, yeah, she struggles. So this one, here we go. And then if you just want it as a normal rotary cutter, as you would, then just use it as you would any rotary cutter and off you go. But do you know what? If you've got this, you're just going to use it on power mode the whole time because that cut through 12 layers. Look at all of those layers there, 12 layers. All of those, all of it. It cut through all of it. Brilliant. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, that is just brilliant. Um, it looks scary. Get over that. Get it. Yeah, 
Get over that, get over that. Uh, this is a brilliant rotary cutter for $22.95. So of course, if you want, and that's the thing, isn't it? It wasn't, you know, I, when I first looked at this, I thought it was gonna be really odd and really weird cutting it. Like, I was like, why do I wanna cut at that kind of angle? But actually, if you've been doing a lot of cutting and you've got a little bit tired, by cutting at that kind of angle, it's great. It just, it gives you another, it just gives you another angle to cut at. And then put your blade for safety mode. And look, that's cut through all of those layers in one pass. Brilliant. Um, if it also says on, on their website, if you're cutting through leather, if you're cutting through denim, just put it on power mode. Now remember power mode was there. Power mode, where all of your, your weight goes just directly in, because you're directly above it and weight is not being dissipated anywhere. It's going directly into there. That is great. Brilliant. 22.95. VKGQ12. Love it. Now, if you want something pretty yet practical, then we've got another Fiskars for you. Actually, can I just say how, how well the Creative Grid cut there? Because I, I didn't ask. Yeah, well done, Creative Grids. Uh, but you know, I did. I had, that, I had that down to a two inch size like that, and it held it. It absolutely held it. When you think like, a month and a half, two months ago, I was terrified of using rotary cutters and, and grids. It's, but it's, it's improved because of using a, a grid I believe in because it doesn't shift and great cutting tools. Now, oh, we've got a message from Karen. Hello, Karen. She says, lovely to, uh, to see you're back, Tash, and Freddie's on the mend. Just ordered my fifth creative grids. Love them and love the show too. Karen, thank you. Firstly, on, on both counts, thank you for ordering from us and thank you. Yes, Freddie is on the mend. At some point, he'll stop being grumpy about it, I'm sure. Um, but no, he is. His little spots are drying up. Bless him. For anybody that doesn't know, my son's just had chicken pox, which is why I've been away. And um, I would also actually like to say a big thank you to Immediate Media, who instantly, when I said Freddie had chicken pox, said, how long do you need off? It was, just, it was just so lovely to have a company go, yeah, you know what, take the time you need, family orientated, off they went, fabulous. Thank you ever so much for that. Right. Oh, yes, the other rotary cutter. If you love Fiskars, because you know the, the blade is going to cut. Now, Fiskars have been making blades since the 1600s. It's actually named after uh, the place where they, where they get the metal from. Um, so for $13.95, this is your pretty Fiskars rotary cutter. Do you know what? It's one of those things. It's simple. It does what you want. But you might think pretty is not going to be functional. It's going to go, no, 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 it's Fiskars. Now, what I like about this, easy for taking the blade. Plus, I think it looks like a, a toucan. That's what I always think of this. I think it looks like the toucan one. I say, is that, have we got the toucan one on the show? Um, there you go. That's your blade just done from pushing on there. So really easy safety function there. And again, nice and easy to cut. Got my creative grids. Through it goes. Function and form, ladies and gents, there it is, cut, one go. And look, you know, it hasn't mushed it, it hasn't done anything, it's just cut straight through it. That was four layers in one pass. Easy peasy. It's pretty, and actually your hand just sits really nicely in there, off you go. It's very lovely actually this, it's pretty, isn't it? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Done. And then cover that blade, done. Yay! We love it. Thirteen ninety-five. TKGQ12. Awesome. Now, what do we want to look at next? Oh, the K facet. Now then, um, do you want to look at this big one? Oh yeah. Hang on. Yeah, our cameramen are going to do wizzy wizzy wonderful things um, because I laid it out all pretty. Um, look at this. If, and I, I haven't seen this before, certainly not here at Sewing Quarter, this is um, a fabric design strip pack to beat all others. We are looking at six 
inches wide. Now, I folded these in, I didn't, I, I lie, I didn't fold these in half at all. Um, the, it will come to you beautifully rolled as you would expect any, any design strip. There we go, that's how it's gonna come to you. But you can't see the colors. So uh, we ripped open that uh, and went, yeah, 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 you're really pretty, but we're gonna rip you open and show everybody what you're getting. This is what you're getting, ladies and gents. Look at this absolutely gorgeous 20 strips these are six inches wide which means that you can either do the most incredible quilt what i love about this is that you get much more of the design look at that so you get look at that shell I, i'm going to open this up the, you see normally i love the florals with cave and i do i really do but nobody told me he did shells check that out isn't that beautiful? So you're getting more of a snippet of the fabric. You're getting more of an idea of it. So maybe you want to do it so that actually you're si Oh, hang on. Let me get my, uh, look, if I show you there, you get an idea. If you wanted to fussy cut and that would be your six inch block there. Wouldn't that be stunning? Imagine that as you're, and oh, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, if you're wondering when you would use your creative grid, well, it's here, isn't it? Because look, you would just go, right, let's just uh, cut the salvage off there, and then um, I'll just then, there you go, there's my six inch mark there, and then cut, and then you've got your six inch square. So actually, this could be a six inch block quilt that you're making. Oh, just fab. Absolutely beautiful. Can I show you just one more of my favorite cave designs? And here it is. Here it is. Look at this. You know when I said I love his florals? <gasps> Producer Hannah says she's indulging me. Yeah, well, I know, but look. Isn't that stunning? Just exquisite. Love it. Gorgeous. Uh, we've just a message from Nicole. Oh, about the rotary cutter. Which one? The ergonomic one? Oh, it's just gone. Jay's just taken it. Oh, 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 oh. She says, good morning, Natasha. How is Freddie? Freddie is much better. Thank you very much. And fingers crossed hubby's not going to go down with it. That would be disastrous. Um, I have an ergonomic rotary cutter as I have pain in my hand and it's brilliant. Fabulous. Thank you for letting us know, Nicola. We can't make medical claims on the show uh, because, you know, we're not allowed to. But uh, that's kind of why it's sort of designed, isn't it? So if you do get pains in your hands, if, you know, it just helps. Brilliant. Um, or even if you just don't feel like you've got much oomph, um, put it on that power setting. Whoosh, off you go. Love it. Oh, now. Traditional fat quarter quilts require some traditional fat quarters. Let's show you these. Now these are always popular. I've got three different shades here for you. Do you know, is it bad to say that I would buy these just to have the beautiful colors on display? You know that I've spent, I've spent time tidying up my, uh, my, my fabric stash and my workroom. So now everything looks really pretty. So now's the time to get your pretty, pretty fabrics. Let's have a look at the rose, uh, which is that one. Let's get rid of those for now. So you are getting, look at this, eight pieces here for 9.95, under 10 pounds. And look at this, these are your fat quarters. So once you get um, your, your fabric, selvage to selvage, and then a meter length, it's cut into quarters. That's your fat quarter. That's what you're getting here. But look at the glorious tones here. Now, you might want to just start off making a tonal quilt. Or maybe you're going to use this for your bags, for your quilts. I don't know what you're going to use it for, but just have it in your stash for when you need to use it. It's there. The colours are beautiful. 995 HQGQ56. Loving those. That's your rose. We've got three different colourways for you today, but that's your rose. Uber, uber pretty. But under a tenner, eight fat quarters. It's two meters of fabric. That is, isn't it? That's two meters of fabric for under 10 pounds. That's ridiculous when you put it like that. Which would you like to know? Winterberry. <gasps> um, I love the winterberry because 
this is just going to work in your stash. So whether you've got your florals and you want to pick out the greens from, well, take for example, CAFE over here and all the greens that you've got in there. You see there will be a green to suit there. So you can pick one of those shades out of there. You've got it, haven't you? Because you've got all of those different shades. Um, so it just, it's going to work in your stash. Then you've got, maybe you want to pick out the yellow from something. CAFE again. Let's grab a little spot of CAFE here. Check that out. It's almost like that was actually made for it. Look at it. So you've got CAFE here. And then if you want to make your CAFE go further, who doesn't? Then just look, look at all those colours that you can pick out from there. Isn't that fab? But you see, you know, we picked it out as well from the florals as well. It's just a really handy little one to have in your stash for under £10. Treat yourself. LCGQ25, that's that one. Now the other one. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, this is the iris. And already I'm looking at my... I mean, first one to hand again, those shells. Look at the iris with the cave. That's a bit special, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is, the, and this is another one from there, but just look how well they go. That's beautiful. I mean, that is, oh, yeah. Make your cave go further. Stick one of those in your basket as well, and then you can intersperse. And also, if you put your planes with your patterns, it just makes those patterns go pop, doesn't it? Under £10, beautiful. FHGQ53, and that is your iris bundle. Always incredibly popular. It's just the tones, isn't it? They are absolutely gorgeous. They look so pretty. They look so pretty. Maybe you want some ideas. Here it is. This is your fat quarters. Traditional fat quarter quilts there. Now in here, yeah, there you go. So it doesn't have to be all about, you know, really expensive fabrics. It can just be about the pattern that you do it with. It can be done using, you know, going, hey, look, it's actually about the design of the quilt. Of course, you know, mix in those other colors. But if you're just starting out, I've been there, just starting out and you don't want to use your super duper fabrics yet because you don't feel confident, have a go with your planes. Have a go with your planes first, then bring in your super duper fabrics. Unless, you know, you're already fab, in which case off you go. This is 11 95 with this. Now, what this book gives you is different quilt sizes. It's also that, so you've got twin, full or queen, and then you've got your king. And it's going to tell you how much fabric you would need to, to get this design. And that's what you get for each of these, which is just brilliant. So you know then what you need to order, how much you need. Oh, aren't these lovely? Fabulous traditional quilts. Um, I was talking to my mum the other day and she said, you know, she just loves the different names of all of these. And she's right. The history in your quilting, really lovely. And this is what this is giving you those traditional quilts, and they just look, well, exquisite, aren't they? They're so clever. Look at that. Now, imagine that in that. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Well, actually, in any of them, really, any of the colours. So that was Iris, details down the screen. Bah, 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 there. But this book, 11.95, giving you all of these different ideas. Really easy, practical layout. Oh, I've something to aspire to here. This kind of reminds me of, you know, Moroccan flooring and things like that. It kind of makes me think of that. 11.95 AXSP28 is my code to get me that. I'm going to pop that up there. Now. Um. We're not going to demo this today. We're not going to take it out of the packet because it's the only one that we've got in the studio. But brand brand new today you know if you're anything like me and sometimes your sewing goes a little bit wonky and you might go a little bit close to the edge of a fabric and you think oh no 
if that fabric frays in any way, shape or form, my stitching is going to come off. Um, this is an anti-fray. It's kind of like a glue, um, but it's a fray. It's called fray check. So basically, you pop that along the edge of your fabric and it's going to stop it from fraying. So if you're like me and you've gone a bit too close to the edge or maybe, you know, you're just trying to squeeze out that little, that extra bit of fabric um, and it's all that you've got left and it's almost the right size, but you're going to have to really go with a narrow seam allowance, pop your, your, your fray check on there to stop that from fraying. Or maybe you just have a really delicate fabric and you don't want it to fray. This is the one. All instructions on the back. Make sure you read through those before you start going. They're all on there. Um, in many languages, don't worry. It's, you know, it says here, ideal for seams, hems, buttonholes, shirt collars, cuffs, braids, and appliques on the edge of the material. Perfect. Applique, of course. Perfect for your applique. So maybe um, you don't, you know, you, you don't want that frayed effect or, and you don't want to sort of, you know, have to sew right round really, really close. Maybe you're not going to do a blanket stitch or something around the edge of your applique. Pop that on. Perfect. 545. KUPH02 for that. Brand new today. I'm loving this. We've got lots of brand news today, isn't it? It's good. Ooh, something else. Now, another brand new, brand new today, mm, is this little chap. Now, you've seen glue pens today, but this is the most affordable glue pen that we've ever brought you to air. $3.95 for your Prim Aqua glue marker. Again, like um, your fabric markers, brightly colored so you can see where you've put it will dry clear, will wash out. Um, so don't worry about it staining your fabric. It's not going to do that. But great if you're doing your English paper piecing and you can't be bothered to tack every single little bit before you get sewing. Um, and so for $3.95, it saves all of that. Perfect. ISPH 28. And if you need something to get going with your... Itty bit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just gonna tease you with that there. Uh, let's have a look at what this, how this is coming to you. There it is. It's coming to you like that. Most affordable glue pen we have ever bought you to date. Dot 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 ever. Three ninety five for that. Can't go wrong. Oh, just a note for anybody new who's watching, of course, your P&P is done per day, not by item, not per anything else. It's done per day. So just $2.95 per day is all you'll be charged for P&P. You can check out as many times as you want. We won't charge you by the number of times you check out your basket. It's done per day. That is applied at midnight so that we know that by the time you've checked out your basket throughout the day, you've got everything that you want. And then you know that just $2.95 is applied at midnight and you are good to go. Now, this does have a refill. So if you want to pop a refill in your basket as well, please feel free to do that as well. Um, the refill looks like that. Ba -ba -ba. Bright color, isn't it? Absolutely great. So if you want to grab your refill as well, and I know that look, it's just $1.95 for your refill. You can English paper piece to your heart's content. L-T-P-H-19. Now. Oh, that's, oh, by the way, just a note, if you've bought the other glue pen that we stock, they're not interchangeable. They, those, that refill works with that pen. Same with the other pen's refills, just so that I don't want anybody getting at home going, it doesn't fit. Why didn't you tell us, Natasha? I'm telling you now. Um, can I show these? Because these are just so sweet. I'm going to be honest. English paper piecing... Um, is one of those things that I think, yeah, when I get time, I want to have a go at. But then these dropped into the studio. Look at these. Love these. This makes me want to English paper piece. Um, Tilly Rose has just come into the studio. She's actually doing a little happy dance at the sight of these because she loves a spot of English paper piecing. Look at these. These are two and a half inch mini charms. Maybe you are using your fabric strips, your two and a half inch strips, then look, you could use your strips. So I'm just going to borrow a, a strip of a strip of CAFE over here. So you could then mix it in with your design strips. 
because they're exactly the same size as your design strips. So you could do your main quilt with your CAFE design strips, and then you could do a patchwork of your itty ditty midi squares around the outside in all the colors. Ah, look at that, 75 pieces there. You can mix that around, mix that up, or just do it as a rainbow. Could you imagine that as a rainbow around the outside of your quilt? That would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? <gasps> as a board around a quilt. No, for under 10 pounds for those. I wouldn't be bothered to cut those. But that, the fact that somebody's done that for me and done it accurately, yes, please, for under 10 pounds. I know, I know, producer Hannah, I'm not allowed to touch them. She wants, she wants these to just play with and just to, to just set them out and just, yeah, I, do, I want that border all the way around something. Imagine doing a baby's quilt and then putting this around the border, having a rainbow around the border. I'm trying to teach Freddie his colours at, well, at the moment. It's not going so well. This might help. Yeah. I just want to stroke them. Oh, no, I've got to show you something else. <laughs> Producer Ham's going, Natasha, wake up, wake up. Sorry, you give me pretty things, I get distracted. Um, now, brand new today, just to show you again, but, oh, I've got a bit of fluff in my eye now. Where did that come from? Really, really popular today, the water pen. Let me show you one more time how to um, just refill this. So, unscrew the end, unscrew the end there. That just unscrews, put that to one side. Um, this is your, your cartridge, if you will. Pop that in there. Um, you can make your own sound effects. Uh, it doesn't come with sound effects. And then, there you go, screw it on. You can see there, that little bit there says press. That is how you're gonna get that water to flow. So, um, you can use it to mark the fabric yourself. You can use it. Uh, guess who's up next? Yes, you can use it. If you've got a fabric erasable marker uh, and you've done maybe the, you see, this is, this is what comes to mind only because we've had um, guests, you know, use, use water erasable markers. Look at that, straight off, straight off. No need to wash the whole thing. And then as well, if you want to, Hang on, let me just do a line across there. Oh, we're running out of time. There you go, fold it along that line, press it. You've got the steam that's then gonna um, make it work. Now, we've got Tilly Rose coming up next. See you in just one moment. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question our friendly team are always on standby you can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433 email us at help at sewingquarter.com visit our facebook page follow us on instagram follow us on twitter at sewing quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. 
you can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. Welcome back. Now, this hour, um, gorgeous Tilly Rose is back with us. I can hear her whizzing away on that sewing machine in the corner. But what she's done for us is put together three fabric collections. We've then matched it with the threads. This is the joyous thing. Um, um, my producer, Hannah, said to me, Natasha, will you please make sure everybody knows that we have put these thread collections together? Gutterman haven't done these thread collections ever. We've matched these with our fabrics. We've got that possibility. Tilly's done it. Tilly's not just any old, any old, any old Tom, Dick or Harry. It's Tilly. She's done it. Hurrah. Um, and these are colours that are very personal to her. So, um, I happen to know that Tilly has a little retreat in Norfolk, likes to head over there. Um, and inspired by the beautiful Norfolk coastline is this fabric bundle. I think, do you know, Tilly, I think out of all of the plain coloured bundles that we've ever done, this is my favourite. This is uh, just stunning. I love these colours. They just work so well together. Absolutely gorgeous. 1945. One, two, three, four, five, six half a meters. Half a meters? Does that make sense? Half meter lengths of each of these. Aren't they gorgeous? This is your Norfolk chic. It's just oh, gorgeous. It's stormy. It's mm. um producer Henry, are you trying to tell me the colours? What what would you like to tell me? Oh, yeah, no, it is. Yes, you're so right. Producer Hannah is saying, Producer Hannah, you studied art, didn't you? Yeah, she's saying, yeah, all the artists head to Norfolk, don't they, because of the sunlight, because of the colour. Mm, here it is. Very evocative of that seaside feel, that beautiful light. Absolutely gorgeous. 1945. OWGC60 is your code for that. And the threads that we've put with it, lovely. Um, are here. And I, I think you can see just because, you know, how well they work. So if you want to get your matching threads to go with it, that complement, complement, do they say nice things? Oh, you look nice today. Um, $8.95 for your Norfolk Sheet, Sheet Gutterman threads. There, to go with that. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Mmm. Um, Tilly, this reminds me of your garden. All those beautiful colours, really, really so fresh and beautiful. This is your summer fruits. Again, Tilly put these colours together for us. She's got an eye for colour, hasn't he? Hey? She certainly has. 1945 for your summer fruits spectrum fabric bundle. Lots of fabric here. We're looking at three metres of fabric. Three metres for under £20. That's good. It doesn't matter which way around you look at it, that is a great bundle price. Um, so, three metres, because each of these is a half a metre length. And then, look, you've got your gorgeous threads to go with it. Um, which just work an absolute treat. So, we've given you five threads to go with that, to blend through. And we've given you the colours, because there's a, like a plain, a, like a whitey, um, or a creamy in each one. We haven't gone with that. We've just given you the colours that go with the actual colours in here. So 8 95 for your summer fruit threads. 
can't say that. Summer fruit threads. Quite tricky to say it. Try and say it at home. Summer fruit threads. Summer fruit threads. Uh, 895 ULGC86. Gorgeously matched. Did you do the matching as well there, Tilly? Oh, she did. I'm busy working away in the background. Now, um, I don't know if you know this about Tilly as well. She is a Finland girl. Absolutely. Oh, she's cheering in the call. Yes, Finland. Um, which means that these are also the colours that she has surrounding her all the time. Uh, this is producer Hannah's favourite. These are your, she loves greens and yellows and all those fresh, lovely colours. 1945 for your Fenlon Fields fabric. Fenlon Field fabrics, that trips off the tongue of treat. And 1945 for those, they are, look at those, really vibrant, aren't they? Beautiful, beautiful colourways. WJGC68, again, you know, mix these in with your pinks because actually if you've got floral fabrics, those greens, there's going to be a green that you can pick out from the green from your florals, an absolute treat. Again, of course, we've had to give you the threads uh, that match it. So if you would like those, $8.95 for these threads to match your Fendlin Field fabrics, then the threads to go with the Fendlin Field fabrics. It's like being back at drama school, this, isn't it? Um, I think yeah, I think Tilly did just want me to put my, my teeth back in. Uh, Eight ninety five for the look. I mean, just look, look at that, brilliant, beautifully done, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, then there we go. Eight ninety five for those. T Y G C eighty four. It's a small thing, but having a thread that matches just hey makes you look a bit makes you look a bit better, doesn't it? I'm going over here. Hey Tilly, Hello. thank you. Come back. Hello. Um, now, Mrs. Yes. What have you done with this? I am very excited about this show. It, I was set a challenge, and actually, it's something quite new for me because I love colour anyway. Um, but I think people uh, who kind of know me think I only ever work in white because I work with a lot of lace uh, and vintage textiles. But I do love my colours as a, you know, a, as an accent. And so uh, when uh, Wendy here at, uh, you know, we sat down. Um, she said, think, pick your colours, your choice. So, so for anybody who doesn't know, Wendy, uh, Wendy Rose, lovely Wendy Rose, is the lady that puts our shows together. Yes, and she yes, works and we work together. Tirelessly, yeah. I have to say, mm -hmm. she does such a cracking job um, with our guests. Hand in hand, you sit down and you and go, right. And we sit and work the shows. What yes. do we want for yep. these shows? Yep. What colours do you want? Yep. What fabrics do you want? Yep. And this spectacular bundle display. Well, can I say to viewers how I chose the inspiration? Yes. Because you were just sort of saying that. So... Um, I'd really love to kind of just, you know, let viewers know really where my thought processes came from. So the Norfolk sheet colours, um, I Things spend works. a lot of time in Norfolk. Um, I, I don't live in Norfolk. I, you know, like you said, I go over there. But you did mention about the light and uh, yeah. you know, the sunsets, but also um, the colours of the, uh, you know, the doors the, as you go through the little villages and the different colours of the paint and everything. And I just wanted something that was kind of a seasidey theme without being the obvious seaside if that makes yes. sense yes um and so these are my calm cooler colors they're subtle subtle yes. tones yeah. aren't they if it was a if it was a paint it would be you know it would be your farrell and ball or your annie sloan I'll be to say it would, this. i don't know <laughs> other paints are available i was but going it's, to say it's, the, yes, it's yes. those kind of it's shades gentle, isn't it yes and, and People sort of associate it with that term shabby chic because yes. it has a sort of painted furniture or, or you know, canvases and bits and bobs. But it also represents the, the skylines and the light. Like you said, it's mm. perfect for artists Stormy out there. Skies. So that's my Norfolk chic. Norfolk, right, Norfolk. But, but then... then I was so, so chuffed because I, I do shout from the rooftops that I'm from the Fens. Um, there's not many of us that are on the team. Not many of you. Not many of you. But there's lots of Because there's lots of fields in between, <laughs> I'm just going to say that's why I was inspired to use these colours because it's an agricultural part of the UK. And so all around me is this patchwork of, um, of this sort of colour palette. And at this time of year with the harvests, um, we have these beautiful olives and, and sort of subtle golds that blend in with the green. Mm. So I kind of wanted to mix those in as well. So and that is, if you've ever driven through the fens, I mean, I used that's to live what you see. very, very close yeah. to you. Straight and lines, yeah. flat lands, and just tons and tons and of And try not to drive into fields. a ditch. Yeah. Yes, a few ditches as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's my Finland inspiration from beautiful. there. Beautiful. 
But then we've but gone then, fruity. Well, do you know, when we put this together, we called it summer fruits, but actually, as I was working on this this, this week, uh, ready for the show, um, all my hollyhocks have come out in my garden, <gasps> and they're actually all these colour. And oh, I thought, you remind me of yeah. Garden, and when it? you said yeah. it was my garden, I thought, oh yeah, that's you know. So, um, and I wanted. Um, I'm going to go through a few ideas as I do um, in the show, but I wanted to show that you could have um, an ombre effect. So instead of a mixed, you know, sort of the shade um, mix and matching. I've just patched these together simply because I just wanted to see, show how you can have that shade. So, you know how I was saying, you know, mix mix your colours together. Yes. Look at that. I think that is yes, because all three of them could well. actually be put together in, um, mm. you know, in a project. Well, you see, this is it because I think that if you've got any sort of purples, pinks in your stash, I I'm do. all for mixing your planes through. Then actually, if you mixed your your Finlands through there as well, yeah. Then actually, you've got. You've got all the colours there, you have. haven't you, to mix in with your floor. You have, and actually, um, I'm I'm just using the planes in today's yes. show. Um, but I know, obviously, you've got all the beautiful fabrics you've had on earlier with um, Kefaset uh, fabrics. Those really bright pop of colour, and so even if you want, to, if you put it with your bright colours, they mix and match. I have an but if idea. You, are you going to put some in? <laughs> but even if you have just a cooler palette. <laughs> Um, they will still mix and match with the calm. Well, let's let's show this because this is the cave that we had on on the earlier show. For, so, just for example, let's just take a, a few okay. out here um, of his of his design strips here. Now, this was your six inch strip. Have you? Have I just? Where have I been to not know that you can get? You know fabric strips like this just well, it's exquisite. quite new to me i'm going to be really honest tash i'm not a quilter as you know i love patchwork but i'm a traditional patchworker in the sense that i'm anything and everything kind of goes into the pot um but i'm not a quilter and so uh with coming to the shows even i you know where you say sort of measurements i think oh okay i didn't know that existed so it, it's, it's nice to yeah because normally you know, i think a, of a jelly roll or a design yeah, strip as being yeah. just two and a half inches but then you go and throw in six inch strips and i'm like oh actually and the work's all done for fab. you but so you can see if you want to mix your planes through please do this is your forest fruit and you can just see that just working through. Isn't that gorgeous? But and then there's your thread bundle down the bottom. For, and there's your fabric bundle. But if we swap, if ready, three, two, one, swap. Okay. Yay. Norfolk. There's your Norfolk's coming through. <gasps> Especially love it with the, with the shell one. Doesn't it give you a completely different feel? It does. And actually what I've done with this, with, um, this particular sample, these are all the Norfolk sheep. Uh, chic sheep <laughs> Norfolk chic colors uh, but the threads are actually from the summer berry ah, uh, summer fruits so you can match those through yes now one that I'm drawn to here you know your Finlands yeah here's, here's a spot of cave there because this would be Look the wild that. wild flower meadows yes on the great fen oh my goodness Wickland fen any of, any of those but you there. see look if you wanted to do here you yes, go look at that so if Le now, say that's your six inch square block. Then, you know, look at that and then look at that with those colours. Oh, Tilly, we could play at this but all day. You could have this as a background and actually use this as an applique. On but doesn't it, it just makes it go pop, doesn't it? Does. It? it just it does. It brings it all to life. Yeah. Having, I mean, we say this a lot make your cave go a long way. Yes. And by mixing in these colours, okay, I mean, look at this one. I would never have thought, I mean, look at those two together for a start, gorgeous, but then look and at actually those. actually that matches perfectly, It doesn't does, it? doesn't it? It's almost got like a, a retro feel to that one, hasn't it? I, I love it. But then equally, you pop that through there as well. That's your summer fruits. Oh, you need them or all. two. <laughs> need the, I need them all. Oh, poor producer Hannah's gone. I don't have enough graphics. You're showing me too many things. Um, Sorry, but it's, Hannah. It's true, though, isn't it? You know, if you're going for the cave, you're getting 26-inch strips. Um, it's utterly, gu utterly stunning. That's how it comes to you. We've obviously, you know, we've obviously had a, a good old play with that and opened it out. Just because otherwise you can't see what you're getting, and that's really annoying. So, um... 
We've had a little play with that. I'm going to just tell uh, viewers a few pointers because obviously I work with colour a lot in, yes. in my field of work. That would be true to um, say. But I know mm -hmm. through talking to um, you know sewers in workshops and events, it's not always easy to put colours together. Um, and sometimes you probably might have been patchworking for 20 odd years, but actually you still worry about putting your colours together. And I want to just give you a few tips um, just for even if you're just beginning patchwork, you might think, where on earth do I start? Because we've just bombarded our viewers there with tons and tons of ideas. Have this deluge of colour. And, and yes, they're lovely. But if you were beginning to, to start to sew or just to patchwork, you'd think, I don't even know where to start. I just don't know where to start. So I'm just going to give you a few little pointers. I always say to my students in whatever workshops that I do, get yourself just a plain notebook. It doesn't have to be anything fancy at all. Mm -hmm. If you have, uh, let me just pass this out to you. So this is my little notebook mm. um, that I sort of do around shows. Just get yourself a card. Mm -hmm. um, if you get, if you order, say, one of the packs today, put a little snippet out. Now ignore the, ignore these. These are for my reference. These are just, I just want to show you the shade cards. Make well, yourself actually, a little you know shade what? card. I would say do this because then when you want to reorder. Yes. You've got you've got the code yes. of the fabric to just reorder straight away from us. You yeah. know exactly which code that fabric is. And I've matched the cottons um, uh. so that, that you know I know which ones go in there. But then you can see when you're when you've made a quilt or maybe you've made a bag or a cushion and you think I can't remember where did I you know what shade was that where did I get that from? You know what fabric it is, what it was called. Um, but it also, you can leaf through your ideas books and it just gives you a bit of inspiration. Yeah, the different colours. So you might with. have, um, say, just if we take one of those pieces of fabric off there, just the dotty one. Yeah. Um, and you have that in your stash or you've just bought it. You can see then you've got that without having to rifle through your drawers. You've got it there in front of you and you think, OK, I've got some of that left and I'll... Match I'm going to give that. you um, the colours of those fabrics, the names of okay. the colours in the fabric. So we'll do that when we recap the fabric. So don't don't worry. Okay. In fact, um, you know, if you want to make a colour chart like Tilly, I'll give you the names of those fabrics. Um, so grab a pen if you want that, and I'll go through those when we go back over there and recap the fabrics, and then you'll know exactly which ones are coming to you. We've called the bundle, obviously, uh, Norfolk Chic, yes. Fenland Fields, um, and your summer fruits, but, they, but then you can order it. Yeah. Yes, you can. When there's a colour yeah. that you absolutely love and you've used yeah, up and you need exactly. to reorder, yeah. then you'll know. So yeah. 1945, this gets you your summer fruits bundle. I love this ombre effect that you've done for us there and again you well, just cut strips yes i was going to say um i haven't got a full strip could i just take one off the uh, display i'm sorry i'm going to mess up i just want to show viewers how easy it is very very quickly to produce something like this so so quick even if you've never done anything before i'll just move that to one side because uh, so all i did because they come in half meter length okay this is the, such a quick way and i'm not going to cut it because i know i can't cut <laughs> cut this one but i want to tell you the um, how i did it so I folded it, you folded it the other way, my darling. So salvages, I'm going to just fold them in half. And all I did was literally line that up. Um, you can use a rotary cutter, you can use your scissors, just literally cut strips the oh, same width. Oh, you that way, right. Okay, and then you end up with your strip, i.e. here. Mm -hmm. It was so quick because all I did was literally take one of every colour, do a strip, and what I did is I cut it, I cut two strips, so I started one end and worked my way up, put the cream in the middle mm -hmm. and then worked my way back. And, Brilliant. And you could rustle up something like that in half an hour easily because you haven't got to do anything. Perfect. Straight stitching, it doesn't matter about the seams. I'm, I'm not a quilter and I, I, I know you have, you know, your set seams. For something like this, you just, whatever your seam you choose, it can be obviously your quarter inch or you can do your 1.5, but whatever you choose, you then do it for every strip yeah. along so that you've got that equidistant. Now, you see, when you when you get design rolls, design strips at home, they are cut selvage yes, to yes. selvage. So you can do that as well. You yes, because you, you can, can do it the other own. way. Yeah. And then if you want to do bindings around your quilt and, yeah, and yeah. Uh, log cabins, things yep. like that, if you want to make your own binding, yep. then you've got that sashing. I'm discovering on quilting is the way forward when you run out of your gorgeous fabrics but you haven't quite got to the yeah. size sash it um i'm learning all you're these turning things. into a quilter oh, dangerous isn't it 
You come with a warning, Lisa, <laughs> don't you? So we're going to go put that back, and I'll let you open it. Okay. The what I what project I brought with me today? Because I I'm. Oh, I want to do summer fruits, um, by the way. Mm. Okay, summer fruits. So I'm actually going to be working with my Fenland fields. Yes. All right. Because what I want to introduce you to, these are just a really simple. Shall I just take that out yeah, for, yeah, for a second? Bye, 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 bye. Okay. So um, with the Fenland fields, this is a really, really quick way of making a little gift. Um, perfect for summer picnics. Okay, because you're out on the beach or you're in the park and you actually sometimes just need a cloth over your knee or, you know, your little table to put your um, drinks or your whatever you take on a picnic. Well, do you know what? I would <laughs> Biscuits, roll my cutlery on that. Yes. So all it is, literally, is um, a piece of fabric that's been patched together yes. with using the Fenland fields and then I've used the cream on the back. Nice. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use um, all the decorative stitches on the machine. So if we actually look at, um, when, you, when I suggest decorative stitches, most people think um, you've got to take the decorative stitch right to the end and actually make a checkerboard of it. But um, you can oh. see, I don't do that. <laughs> I break the rules as usual, Tash. And um, <laughs> so we love you know about me. you, <laughs> you know me. what we love Quiet about rebel. you. Um, so I just sort of do a little bit every now and again. So you can actually see where I've gone um, in sort of geometric shapes and then use the stitches. And what I've done is I've intermixed the uh, cottons again. So all of these threads are from the Fenland field pack with the thread. Yeah, I haven't used anything else. Work. But because you've got the contrast, so you've got light and dark and you've got green and then green, you've got, um, you know, your, your yellows and your mustard sort of things. It this just brings it all together. Is a brilliant excuse to use those decorative stitches on your machine. It is, and actually to get to know your there. machine. Absolutely. Yeah, get to I know mean, it. We normally say, do yourself a stitch library, but actually... Well, this is a perfect way of doing is. a stitch library. It kind of is, it is a stitch yeah. library, isn't it, in its own, in its own way. Um, and a thing of beauty. Well, I'm using it for a table runner, mm -hmm. but um, once you've got the sort of basics of starting this technique, you can turn it into any project. So this could be, you know, a, a panel for a cushion. You could make a, a much bigger panel and put it into a quilt. This isn't quilted. There's no wadding in between. Mm. This one I did... Um, this Oh, this one, sorry. Right, so this one I have put wadding in, and you can see by adding the wadding, you get a, a very different feel to the fabric. Yes. Um, you know, obviously it gives it a bit of a, a, this a is, texture. That was the Norfolk that one. That was the Norfolk that's, one. That's the details down there. I just wanted to show there. the wadding. Yeah, and there. your Fenland details there. But you, yeah, you can, you can see, so quilted, not quilted. Yes. But still equally beautiful. And then when you've done something like this, if you don't want it as a table runner, with your little book that I mentioned, bring that across, okay, you've got an instant little book cover. Oh, lovely. And so you can keep all your little notes in there, take it to workshop. So would you just sort of stitch then down the edge yes, to keep it all to keep in it place? In. And it's like a little jacket. Keeping oh, lovely. It. And then if you want to practice a stitch, you can... Yeah. And actually, because it's, it's double-sided, um, you can obviously once you've stitched this, it's a bit more difficult. But you can just take it off and keep adding if you think, well, actually, I'll try right. that with a new thread or something. Okay. Lovely. So I'm going to show you how to get started on, okay. on here. We're using the Fenland Fields bundle. If you've just joined us, um, these are the colours. Sorry, that's all right. Me, uh, stretching across. These are the colours that come. You get a half a meter of each of these, so that's three meters of fabric there. And then you've got a coordinating thread bundle down the bottom there, and you can just see um, how beautifully those threads coordinate because look Tilly's done some beautiful satin stitch through there all picked by Tilly inspired by her home area of the fence yes, my homeland absolutely just beautiful um 1945 for the fabric 895 for the coordinating thread bundle how do we get going then? okay so um I haven't got any specific measurements because obviously if you're going to do a table runner, you might want it a certain size. A book, obviously, you're going to measure it around, around your book. So I'm just doing this as an example of how to get started. The back of it is going to be cream. Right. Um, but equally, you could have any colour on the back. It doesn't okay. have to be cream. Um, and so if I just turn it over, well, with using the cream on the back, you actually get to see the stitches. So with yeah. doing something like a table runner or something... And that something, cream comes in the bundle. You yes. don't have to get that no, separately. No, that no. cream is in your bundle. So you can actually then make pockets um, and still see the stitching. Oh, pretty. You know, you were saying about yeah. the cutlery or something. 
Okay, so it, it becomes part of your design then. Okay. Lovely. So to get started, if I turn it back over and then I can reference. Um, as I said at the beginning, I'm not a quilter. I, I, I'm not, I call myself a patchworker, but I'm not a patchworker in actual precision. So this is a perfect uh, project. If you're just starting and you think, I just want to play and I just want to get used to colour. Um, so I know some viewers out there will say it's not perfectly cut. Um, just bear with me because I just want to introduce people to patchwork, really. Yes. Um, so use this as your size of your grid. So to get started, we're going to make strips going across our um, the template that you mm. use on the back, okay? And um, just before the show, what I've done is I've used some of the uh, other fabric out of the bundle. I've just literally sewn these two together that I'm going to sew on, right. okay, so that I can show you more sewing. So you need to, if I just take this off, this was just where I was um, practicing. Just take that off. Now, which machine are you using today? The so this five, is the 540. 540, right. Is it right. the four, yeah, yes, 540. 540. Yes. So it's the experience. Um, and you've got such a lovely choice of stitches here, actually. And don't discount um, even your stretch stitches and maybe the stitches that you think, well, I perhaps wouldn't use that. Um, this is the perfect opportunity to have a play and work out what actually, you know, you think, oh, I might have a go. So I'm just going to do a, um, a seam. Now, um, I'm going to just put some pins in that I haven't got. Just bear with me one second. There we go. If you're after the, these beautiful shades, then 1945 gets you six half metres. Half of the Fendland stock has gone. Oh my gosh, already? Yes. Uh, wow. So <laughs> please check out your baskets. I don't, there are baskets with, with it in. Please don't miss out. I would hate for anybody to have their heart set on this beautiful array. We don't, we're on what? Sorry, producer Hannah. Oh, people have just checked out we're on single figures. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Um, so that's for the Fenland Fabric Bundle, the Fenland Fields Fabric Bundle. Did you just that's, want to give me a tongue I'm twister? I'm just going to say that's quite a tongue twister, yeah, thank, isn't thank it? You for that. Just checking that yeah, you're away. Yeah, yeah, just, just checking. My <laughs> first day back in, having been off with a poorly child, oh. and, uh, and, and you give me that to say. Now, you've just done a straight stitch. I nothing, have. Nothing technical. No, no. And uh, now here's another little pointer that I do in my workshops, okay? When you uh, patch your squares together, mm. most people tend to use a neutral colour. Right. Um, because you've got the option of all these beautiful colours in there, and you're, if you are a beginner, I know there's lots of people out here who don't need to hear this, but if you are a beginner, use a darker thread because it will show you where you've gone with your stitching. Right. If you go wobbly and you think, you know, you're a beginner, allow yourself to go wobbly. You're going to yeah. go wrong. That's how we learn. Okay. But with the, the darker thread, you can actually see, did you go wobbly when you went over a seam? Did you go wobbly halfway down? So you're sort of going this. Is it that movement of moving your fabric up? Right. It just gives you a few pointers of where you can concentrate your sewing so on. So actually, it, it's like being a fabric detective. You yeah, can it is. You can start to see where you need to maybe pay a little bit more attention or yeah, not but, feed through or do feed through. But at through the end or... of the day, Tash, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in that it's okay to go wrong. Mm. Don't think, because it's your first project or your first bit of patchwork, or even, you know, maybe you've never thought, well, I've never really put plain colours like that, and I've always had flaws because it's hidden up my sewing or things like that. It's okay, just go wrong, it's fine. I'm, I'm going to be on The first, and a lot of you know this already, um, the first patchwork quilt that I did, I did. I went through, um, I, was, I spent an evening going through my scrap box okay. and cutting up um, to the biggest size square that I could yep. and I went through and I did that which left me with lots of little strips so I just sewed them end on end and then just sewed them all around together and ended up with this this strip quilt it was sort of a cot size strip quilt okay and it taught me to sew in straight lines um it, it yep. taught me all those things it was full of pattern full of color it has every color in it because it had pretty much every fabric in my stash in there um it meant that I wasn't worried because it was nope. it was just it was just what I had left over. So if you are worried, do that. Um, but I love it. 
Because it's not it's perfect. You. It's, it's wobbly. Smoke. It's wonky. That's fine. It's full of mistakes. But my goodness, I love it. And that's what, for me, that's what sewing and patchworking but should be about. But I spent so long being afraid because I wanted to be perfect. I, I surround myself by by um, by experts, and it, and it, it's very easy to think if you're not going to be as good as the expert, well, don't bother. I so agree. But it's not. No, it's, it's about, no, about doing it. And my um my mum saw it. She said, Oh, I love that. I said, Mum, but it's got this mistake and it's got that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, Deborah in Gloucestershire says, Hello. loving watching Tilly today. Ooh. Um, thank you, Deborah. From the Fens too. <gasps> She's lovely. A oh, fellow Fen. Fenner. <laughs> um, I don't live there now. A fen but girl. I do believe that you can take the girl out of the Fens, but you can't take I'm the girl with out you of, on uh, that. The out of the girl. I'm so with you on that one. <laughs> yes. Uh, Christine has said, oh, it's coming through just any second. A uh, great idea for the uh, the for the book for the colour combinations. Thank you, says Christina. She's another Finlander. Oh, there's, there's a, a lot of you. There's uh, a, a, an girls army out of there. us Fen girls yeah. out there. I'm not on my own. No, 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 <laughs> never alone. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And the army of Finlanders. I have to say, um, when I was um, on holiday, I won't say where, um, but it was down south. And when I said I uh, came from the Fens, and this lady in the shop said, "Oh, that's that area," and she did this. She went, "That's that area up there that's a bit flat, like a pancake." Yeah. That's one way of describing us. <laughs> I live in the pancake part of the world and I'm proud of it. And it is flat. <laughs> but I thought, oh, okay, well, there's lots of beauty there. I'm not sure I'd have said it was a pancake land, but there we be. So, right, so <laughs> while we were talking, <laughs> oh, exactly. and I'm not a pancake girl, so that's, there we go. So, while we were talking, obviously... Even with lemon and um, sugar. Oh, yes, I am that. Yeah, yeah, just a little, <laughs> just a little. Uh, so, I'm not going to go right to the end because I want to get stitching and show you, but you get the idea. You work in strips, okay? Yeah. That's your basis. Yes. And then say our next strip, we could use, say, the mustard again. Okay. Now, going back to um, putting them together, a lot of people just really struggle at this stage. Right. You might have something in your stash. Mm -hmm. um, now, I'm just going to throw something else in the mix because <gasps> we had all the bright, bright colours from Cafacet. This was on my earlier show, and obviously it's a little bit of Tilda. You might want to actually use part of your fabric. So because this is a deer scene and this is all the fields and the colours, nice. you Ooh. might want to mix something like that in. Um, just play. And if you're not sure, I'm going to give you some tips. Just take a photograph with your phone, OK? Yeah. Then pull it all to pieces. I'm just going to give you the details for this. This comes in a three-piece fat quarter bundle. It is beautiful. One of my favourite ranges. This is the autumn tree range. This is what got me into Tilda. Ah. This one, but in blue. Um, well, I just had a little bit left, and and for a project like this, you perfect. you don't need a you know a massive amount. Details but it's down there. This is how it's coming to you because it's not alone. Look, you've got that beautiful blue, which would go gorgeously well, with your say, Norfolk. <laughs> I was just going to say and the then, blue's the Norfolk, and yeah. then you've got pink for the summer berries. Yeah. Yeah, there so you go, it's so all in there. there um, and that details down the bottom, $13.95 for that fat quarter bundle from Tilda. But this is it, isn't it? All of a sudden, I'm thinking of all the different colours, all the different fabrics yeah. in my stash. What is this going to go with? Everything. It, Everything. It, it is, it is. So I'm just going to take that away because obviously um, I just want to throw that in. With no. it. So I'm actually going to just cut this down. Now, you can use a rotary cutter. Um, I have to say, I love using scissors. I'm an old-fashioned girl. And there are times that I do actually need a rotary cutter because you yes. need that precision. But for something like this, just as it is, um, we, we'll go with um, just the scissors today. So I'm just going to pin this in place. Could I just get a couple more pins? I just left yeah, it at the side here. Absolutely. Okay. Um, whilst you pin... That's all right. I forgot to put it up on my... There we go. I'm happy now. The teacup is out. We know Tilly's in the house. The teacup tea is out. Here. Right, okay. So you, if I just put that to one side so that I'm not um, taking up view, I'll just give them to you. Right, so put a pin in either end. Mm -hmm. Now there's a couple of ways you can actually do this. I'm going to show you so that we go through on the back so you can see the stitching. But if you want to put this, um, if you want to do the stitching on the front first and then have a plain back, mm -hmm. you would make it like a pillowcase. So okay. you would do all the stitching on the coloured part and then just go around the edge and um, turn it in like you would a pillow. Okay. okay. Before so, you do that, yes. I'm going to zip over there because I did promise you all um, all the different names. And lots of you saying, please, 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 can you give us all the names? 
Um, so here we go. Where would you like to start, producer Hannah? Let's start Norfolk here, low in stock. So if you're after the Norfolk colours. So in the Norfolk bundle, are you putting it on my... On, why don't let's have a look, shall we? No, it hasn't come up. Uh, so we have got in the Norfolk bundle, we have... Uh, b -b 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 Coal, which, what, 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 what blue? Pale blue, pale blue. We've got pearl. Pearl blue. Mm -hmm. We've got glacier grey. Mercury. Vintage blue. Teal. And ecru. Uh, not in any particular order, by the way. That's what you're getting in that bundle. Um, and then threads, if you want to match, are eight. Only four of these bundles left. Oh, um, more of you with that in your baskets than we have stock of. Please check out your basket immediately if you want that so that you don't miss out. Thread to match here, $8.95. Details down the bottom of your screen for that. Gosh, busy. Congratulations, managing to get all of that. Now, summer fruits, fruity, fruity. About half of the stock of this one gone already as well. Busy. So we have got in here mauve mist, violet, uh, what's your purple? Deep purple, yes. Damson, deep orchid, and the accru again there. Um, and then if you would like the matching threads here, ba -ba -ba -ba, then they are just, they go down the bottom. <laughs> 8.95 down the bottom there. You can always go and um, have a look on the website because just underneath where we're live, uh, there's a great long shopping list of everything that we've shown you on the shows. So you can always get, but do be quick because these are selling out super quick. Um, now the Fenland, here it is. Your Fenland Fields. How much do we actually have left of this talking of selling out? Oh, producer Hannah's doing some maths. With single figures, down to single figures of this. So if you would like it, six bundles left. Oh my goodness. Oh no, down to five. God, it's like a final countdown, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Um, so 1945 for this. And we have got maize, that's that one. Ochre, citrus, pistachio, grass, and ecru. Yay! Four remaining now. The final countdown. And then if you want these here, these are your threads to go with it. Down the bottom there, $8.95. Tilly Rose, I'm coming to you. Oh, you've got only one of the Norfolk left. Ooh, you're gonna have to be quick. Ooh. <laughs> now, this is a bit special. Well, look I at this. Put, uh, so I've put all, a piece from each in there, just look to show. That how you can change it. I love so that. So I've used the same technique, done strips, and I've got a piece of Norfolk in there, a piece of Fenland in there, mixed in with my summer uh, fruits. Which means get all three. But you can <laughs> see how the pink actually really lifts. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? So and I can work on that one. makes it very one. modern. Um, I'm okay to work on this one. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm just thinking, do you want me to use it? No. Okay. So uh, while you've been over there, my darling, I've, because uh, of this selection of lovely stitches, I'm going to go with number 25, which is a scallop. And actually, it's this stitch on the edge here. But I've also used it on the edges. I'm going to see. These, so you've got them on a scalloped edge along there and also through there. Um, and it's great for hiding a bit of wonky... Uh... Well, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> beat me to it. <laughs> now the machine that we're using today is the 540 for this plethora of stitches. Yes. If you search on the website uh, then you'll find it there. Um, it is £449. It's a lovely machine to use. It it's is, very isn't smooth. It? Yeah. Um, STJE50 and it's £449. 50 built-in stitches there, so you're going to have lots yeah, and lots Yeah, you're going to be able to play. play with. And actually, I'm just going to stop there. Although you've got 50 stitches, you have the option to change your stitch length and stitch width 
on the dial here. Yes. So you've actually got more than your 50 options because they're preset stitches at, yes. at preset sizes. Um, so if you want to elongate your stitches mm -hmm. or, you know, make them smaller, you've got much, much more options there. Do you know my favourite thing on this machine? Two favourite things is firstly, you've got your I utility know. stitches, the ones I that you're going to use most of all. Yep. So you can go straight to your, your straight, straight stitch. Straight back again. Yep. Uh, your buttonhole, your zigzag. Yep. Uh, you've got those right there. But the other thing that I love that I don't have on my machine at home and I'm a bit jealous of are these up here. Now, number three means that it will automatically go forwards and Do back to lock that. Yep. But then number four, when you start and when you finish, it'll time. It will give you three little locking yep. stitches Brilliant. You don't have to think about nope, it. You don't nope. have to press that reverse button or anything like that. Nope. It's going to do it. Love that for that. That's really brilliant. well thought out. Thank you very much, Elna. Okay, Big so uh, with this scallop number 25 that I'm using, you can see, if I just use the scissors instead of my fingers, what I'm doing is I'm lining it up over the edge so it makes it a bit of a feature. And we're going to go down. So just, uh, sorry, can we just show that again? Sorry, yeah, just yes. sure. Was I too quick? There you go. There we go. Okay, so I've lined up the scallop stitch so it just clips over the edge. Ah, okay. okay. Now, if you are a bit wibbly wobbly with your stitching, uh, just take it a little bit more, and this thickness of the stitching will cover that seam. Nice. Okay. Because there's nothing worse than having a scalloped design and then a straight stitch, a straight seam that's not a straight seam. Because you know, you can do all sorts of things with patchwork. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So I'm going to take it down. Yes. Okay. So this just shows, doesn't it? You know, this you can use this to disguise. You can if, if but, things aren't quite you know, as equally. Um, make if it design feature. Yeah, make it design feature. But you don't have to. So I'm going to stop now. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go up to so 25. Let's have a play. Uh, let's go up to number 28 because that's our blanket stitch mm -hmm. edging. So uh, we're on number 25. We just go up 26, 27, 28. Okay. I'm going to put my needle back into my fabric yes. because what I'm going to do is now I'm going ah. to work round and we're going to use our line of our seam here and come back down. But I'm not going to go all the way down to the end of my fabric. Right. Okay. So, and then I'm going to change my cotton. So I'm lining up the blanket stitch. Can you see the groove in the middle of the um, sewing foot? Yes. So coming out the other end. Now I'm just going to be really honest here. I didn't press just for quickness. At home you would. So I've got to lay that down. No, just bear with me because I don't want to show viewers the wrong thing. I'm going to tuck that under there. there go. So this is just getting those seams out the okay. way. Okay. So you would have pressed at home. Yes. I'm just being a lazy bee. I'm <laughs> loving this blanket stitch. Why have I hand blanket stitch things when I've got this on a machine? Isn't it lovely? Gorgeous. And it's also a beautiful stitch to use for applique lovely. if you go round. Right, so I'm just going to take that onto my green. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wouldn't have thought of blanket stitch just as a sort of decorative. No. I, I've always think of it as being a functional keep things in place type stitch. Okay. So it I'm really just going that. to show viewers what we've been doing. Okay, so we've got our scallop along the edge here. Mm -hmm. Then we've got our blanket stitch. And you can see, I just used my scissors guide. You can see how different an effect it is with doing it over two, but then over a single colour. And yes. how the contrast in the colour there. So it so does, as you start to see it onto the white, you get that whole different effect, the ecru, sorry, the ecru. Then you start to get that different effect. Really lovely. Right, so now I'm going to get my little stash of um, one. Choose colour. <laughs> what are we going to go for? Lime? That one. Okay, I don't know if that is lime. I'm calling it lime, but it might not be. Um, I love how you always display your threads. <laughs> I love it. Today it's on knitting needles. Sometimes they're on pegs. You never I know, know with Tilly, how things are well, going to work. Shall here. I tell you? When, um, so uh, my background's working in education, and I worked for quite a few years as a peripatetic uh, role which meant I was travelling into schools and nurseries and, and homes. Yes. all over um, the place. But I needed my stuff. I didn't need them in boxes. I needed them to be accessible. So if something like this had to just work. It really did. Um, and I'm terrible. I save everything at home, really. But it, no, but it is. I mean, look, I mean, so just even just to sort of have those out on display, it's just a thing of Well, beauty. you want them to hand. You want yeah, to get no, sewing. Yeah, of course. Right, so I've swapped over to my lime. Yes. Okay, let's go and change our... 
Let's go up and we'll do, shall we do number 34? Well, why not? Yeah. Um, okay, so 31, 2, 3, 4. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this time we're going to come down on the white, but I'm going to start in the middle. So okay. I'm not going to go. So this can be any old way. There are no rules, Tash. No. If anything had to sum my way of designing and working, it's that. If there's no rules. It's just be creative. Um, and anybody who comes to any of my workshops will know that's the first thing I say. You can't go wrong. Um, it's your interpretation. It's your design choice. Yeah. No right or wrong, just a design choice. Okay. Um, and, and that makes me feel far more comfortable. Because it takes the pressure off. Yeah, you know, this is this is very much my way of working. I don't necessarily work to patterns. It's what comes out of my head. It's what happens to go into my machine. If you want precision patchwork, there is a That's time and different. a place for it. I, it's it's I a different skill yes, entirely. And I would hate viewers to think that I don't respect that skill at all. I oh, do. No, it just, it's just a different way it's of working, just a different isn't it? Way of, yeah. Yeah. Thinking and working and being creative. It's like someone who likes to make pastries. Exactly. Um, yep, might, exactly. might not, you know, make meat dishes. It's, it's, no, it's still no, working. No. Now, bundles. Let's have a recap on these bundles. Oh, just an announcement. The Fenlon one. More of you with it in your baskets than we have stock. Please check out if you want it. Um, otherwise, you're going to miss out and that would make me cry. I'm really um, the Norfolk Chic has gone. Whoosh, well done if you've managed to get that. There is still the thread pack available, but it is hanging on by a thread. So if you want <laughs> to grab that, please grab that now. Um, how are we doing for the summer fruits? Over half has gone with the summer fruits. Go. Busy, go. busy, busy. I'm actually going to change to one of the threads in a moment of summer fruits. Okay. I wish we'd have called them hollyhocks now. Because that just is my garden. Well, you know, you'll <laughs> have to come back with another garden I will. bundle. Oh, I mean. how would that exciting that mm. would be. Right, so I'm going to carry on with the stitching while you're doing that. I've just used this little feather stitch while we were talking mm -hmm. in the lime. But I'm going to show now, you don't have to do straight stitching. Okay, so okay. here so comes this the wibbly using, wobbly. Okay, I'm, I'm all for a bit of wibbly wobbly. All right, so this is me deliberately going wrong. Okay. So, very, very slowly. The key to this is slow. The more you try and do this with a fast sort of turning around you're going to get puckers because I've not used any stabilizer but I want that effect of a little bird oh, tripping across the yes, fields of course <laughs> um, we're using this is from the experience 540 on a machine and it's got 50 stitches built-in stitches and it's just it's just loving this work, isn't it? What a great excuse to get all of those stitches out. And because it is, and also because if you notice where we're changing our colour, mm. okay, you can see how easy it is. We've got the automatic needle threader. So let's finish with the lime, and I'll show viewers that stitching in a second. Mm. So we take off our thread, pop it onto our knitting, and mm -hmm. let's have. Um, shall we have a? You see that looks beautiful. Ooh, Which one shall we go for? That one. Okay. So. Now, this is your summer fruit yes, thread. So this one's the, only, the only reason that I chose that one is because I'm, I'm loving... I know. Well, I was going to do some stitching on there thing. as well. So, we've got 10 minutes. So, that's why I'm going to give you that. Okay. But, so, if you've, if you've bought multiple bundles, you're going to be able to mix and match beautifully. Okay. I might have time then. If I do this as my last stitch, I might have time to actually show viewers using the stripes with the patchwork... Um, and it is just stripes with the, the cotton. How we could cut out a heart using the different ones? Would we have time for do to do that? Because we've, we've got ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We can do that then. Yeah. Right, I'll just thread this one up. Um, I'll just have to uh, apparently just talk about some threads. <laughs> okay. Where's my thread? Just bear with me. There it I, is. At home, I don't think twice about it, but because I'm stood up, I've got very focus and it's a, I, I'm oh, not at the right angle. Yes. <laughs> so I kind of see three different threads there. Um, right, okay, so I'm in my pink. So let me just go back. Oh, right. About. Sorry, because I forgot to show the viewers. So this was my feather stitch. Mm -hmm. I'll just wait for them to... There we go. Okay, so this was my straight line of stitching, if you want that straight geometric. Mm -hmm. But you can go, and it, it almost gives a crazy patchwork effect of just wandering across the fields. I love that. Okay. I'm a, a wander so across a field. I'm going to change my stitch again mm. and I'm going to do a star. Okay. So I'm going to go up to 48, I think. Okay. Okay. Just to show that there's some beautiful stitches on here. So you can see how easy and how quick that is to just literally change 
Uh, shall we have a little bit there? Okay. So, and then I'm going to show the reverse. Now, this is the 540 on the machine, 50 built-in stitches. Um, it's got, I love those, just that you've got the, the easy easy um, to access on the panel. buttons on yeah, the panel yeah. as well. You've got um, uh, changeable speed, so if you're yes. um, if you're working with a beginner or you're doing something intricate, then you can change that yep. speed on a gradual, uh, which is that bit there. Yep. Uh, it's got a, a graduated speed control, so it's not just sort of slow, medium, fast. It's You put it at exactly the speed that suits you. Yep. Um, you've got buttonholes in there. You've got everything that you need. Um, even your stretch stitches, Tash, you can use a stretch stitch on a uh, piece of fabric that's not stretch. Yes. And it becomes a decorative stitch. Perfect. Lovely. Um, okay. Let's give you some details for this machine because lots of you are asking about this. So 50 built-in stitches. You've got the horizontal bobbin with the transparent cover. How annoying is it when you do a line of stitching and then you realise that actually your bobbins run out? <laughs> no need for that. Built-in needle threader, you've got the up-down facility, so perfect for when you spin your fabric, and your adjustable presser, foot presser, as well as a hard cover. That's just the, the iceberg of what you're getting with this machine. Go onto the website, see the full deal on there. Um, it's going to be in a slightly different place from the products on the show, so just put in 540EX. Just just pop in there. Um, there's a whole area of sewing machines. Yeah. We have like a stable I've got, of I've sewing I've got to be honest, I've not used an Elmer until I started working yeah. with Elmer here. Um, and they're lovely little machines because they're solid. Uh, yes. They don't bounce about. And actually, you've got enough stitches here to be creative without it just being functional. So... If you want to use it for dressmaking, you've got all the design features there and everything. But then if you want to just take it further and add that decorative element in there, you've, you've got, got it that. there. And that's just what I love. I'm, I'm loving this splash of colour. Look at this, chilly, clever thing. Um, <laughs> all my little daisies grown in the field. Oh, yes, of course. You yes, see how you just build things up? But by changing, you can see in just this short time how we've experimented using different threads, different fabrics, different colours and different shapes. Gorgeous. And textures. Just That's your summer fruits, Gutterman Fred. Yes, yes. There, just, just that little splash of pink in there. Beautiful. 8 95 Who would have thought, uh, and let me show you these. So these are your Gutterman threads. And these are the ones, shall I just give you the sampler? That's what I put on this um, fabric here. So all of those threads being nice. used on here beautifully. So they are. Now these, of course, these purples go beautifully with the summer fruits um, bundle. Yes, summer, summer fruits. It's not a difficult word, but I did forget it then. That's easier not than Finland's. Hey, well, I know, but, you know. Right, so what I'm doing now... Uh, um, just oh, a sorry. quick warning, sorry to interrupt, Tilly. Two Finland fabrics left, that is it. And two summer fruits left. Oh my so gosh. If you want to grab your summer fruits, you can see how those uh, threads just go beautifully. Six six in the baskets, but only two left. Ooh, there you go. They are your summer out. fruits. Please check out. You are getting, hang on, three metres of fabric there for under £20. Yes, please. Um, PLGC19. Beautiful. Oh, oh, Tilly, this is gorgeous. Right. Okay. I'm going to give you a completely different thing. feel. It is different. Yeah. So because we're talking obviously about patchwork and nothing in particular, let me move this to one side just so I can show viewers what I've done. Nothing in particular. You create a beautiful thing. Nothing. <laughs> what in I particular. meant was a particular project. That's what I meant. This could be a block. It could. It could. Oh, it so, really could. You could put your. Um, you could do your blanket, your beautiful blanket stitch yeah, around the could, edge. Yeah, you could. What I did was I just did my strips like I've just explained, yes. okay? To get it to square, this is how I square. So I square up with, because I don't use a rotary cutter so as often as a quilter perhaps would, um, I do square up trying to use it with a rotary, but I also, I don't know if I can do it now because I've just sewn it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that through, did I? I put corner to corner so I get the triangle, mm. okay? Um, because not everybody likes to use a rotary cutter, but that way then you're guaranteed a square, okay? So, that's sewn. I've then put my decorative stitch on. Now we're going to cut out a heart. Okay, so, we fold it back over on itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that you can actually see the area that you're working mm -hmm. on. 
Now, I haven't got one here because I wasn't planning on doing this demo, but I would have a fabric marker pen if you want to use one. Oh, we had some great yes, ones I... on the earlier show. <laughs> so if only I'm... we'd known, we would have kept it out I for know. you. I know. We've only got two and a half minutes. No, so. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, so I'm just going to free cut my heart. Okay, so I'm going to do half a heart because obviously I folded it over. But I can just show you by adding that little touch of stitching. You're going to show me something. Big stunning. reveal. Ta da! Oh, look at that. How easy was that? Really so easy. Three stra strips of fabric, and then on the back, you've got the contrast. Beautiful. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? So you could, we were talking about this at the beginning. Can you see how you can use your contrast and you can put them in different designs? You could, you absolutely could. So mm. just to show, there's that, or if you wanted to just... Have we got my... Beautiful. Um, um, now, I've got to show you very quickly before we finish, okay. because so many of you going with this, um, because all of those bundles that we've brought you today work so beautifully with uh, the CAFE. Now, this is, the this is the first time we've brought this to air. It's the first time I've seen it. First time I've brought this to air. Um, now, you can match this up with any of the bundles that we've shown you uh, this hour. They just work beautifully. I don't know if that was just a happy coincidence or if that was actually planned. But you see, look. Now, these are folded in half. But this is, and you're getting 20 of these. But this is six inch strips from K Facet. And, uh, and if we've just, can we have a little, those strips back Which just to show how they all just work beautifully. I'm going to bring out some of those greens. So if you just brought sure. the yeah. summer fruits, see how that is working beautifully there. Um, if you just happened to oh, go yeah. for, oh yeah, the <laughs> Fenland. Then look at the Fenland working all gorgeously all over it there. If you bought the um, Norfolk, then look at that. Um, let's put Norfolk down there. <laughs> it's just all working so... It's like a big colourful party. Oh, isn't it? I want to go to that. I look know. at that. Isn't that amazing? Just beautiful. Um, I, yeah. I, I love this with this one. Ooh. See, I actually, this one has got all of the colours. It has, one. isn't it? Isn't that amazing? Like, Where did your little heart go? Because it's kind of that. It is. It's, 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 it's that in. Look at that. Perfect match. Genius. I know. Genius. Genius. Uh, your Cave Facet Shade Collection six inch design strips makes me happy um then that is 53.95 if you've managed to grab your bundles congratulations gosh they've went quickly please check out your baskets or phone for availability 0800 1124433 tilly thank you so much we're thank out you. of time but you've been brilliant I know. I've thank really you enjoyed it thank, thank you. you thank you thank you everybody um please grab the bundles make sure that you've got them congratulations if you've got them commiserations if it's sold out um i will see you in just one moment Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. So I'm going to be showing you how to do an ease stitch. Um, it's very similar to our running stitch here, um, but the purpose of it would be different. So I've kind of mocked uh, the head of a sleeve here. Nine times out of ten you will have to ease the top section of your sleeve. So this is the stitch that you would do that with if you were going to do it with hand. So I'm going to use the embroidery thread. I've just popped a knot on the end again just so it doesn't pull through. Normally you wouldn't do it with um, embroidery thread. So on your sleeve, normally these sections will need to be kept as they are because it's only this section here that we need to be working with. So I'm going to be doing a running stitch quite close to the edge of the fabric. I'm just going to do the quick method here where you're pulling the needle through the fabric while keeping it on the same needle so I'm going to stop there and then pull that all the way through like so so you can see that I've got just that section sewn there and then as I begin to pull you can see that I'm easing 
the head of my sleeve in. So when that is stitched, these curves should disappear, they shouldn't be there because you've eased the bigger section into a smaller section on the clothing. So that's easing. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Get ready to create a bold, beautiful work of art with a little help from Lucy Brennan. On Saturday the 8th of July, Lucy will be dropping in to share more of her insider sewing secrets. She'll also guide us through her latest creation, a modern chic quilt that's all about the colour. This geometric design combines a vibrant rainbow palette with striking monochrome tones. The result is a piece that will fit perfectly into any contemporary home or add a fresh twist to a traditional decor. So tune in on Saturday the 8th of July at 8am and give this modern masterpiece a try. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. back now this is our last live hour this morning so you've got to stay tuned because it is all about the quilt as you go now we have had um quilter after quilter come into the studio show us um how to use this brilliant brilliant concept um i like to think of it as a modular way of quilting uh, whereby you create it block by block and you just quilt that block. It is literally, you quilt as you go. So you never get into the situation where you've got this massive great quilt to try and fight with and shove through your machine. No, 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 you only, you do it block by block and then you join them all together, brilliant. Which means that if you are buying one pack, then it's going to make something this size. So these are just some of the ones that we've had on the show before. Um, so that is the size. That's what one looks like. But of course, if you wanted to double the size, pop two in your basket and then just sew them together. It's as simple as that. So maybe you want to mix and match your designs, in which case, just imagine, I mean, you could imagine this is the size if you wanted to do two together. That's how big your quilt would be if you did two together. Now this is your mosaic magic. Now you can see the difference just by changing the colorways, uh, the difference that that makes. And it just, oh, fab. So this is your mosaic magic. This one here, um, oh, now is that the, the strip? London, mm, we'll get back to you on that one in just a minute. But it, just to give you an idea, so you could, by different designs and mix and match the squares. Do it in the same colorway, mix and match the squares. But let me show you what we've got on the show for you today. So we've got various ways for you today. We've bundled fabrics for you because it's very true. You know what Tilly was saying earlier about sometimes, um, you know, the hardest thing is putting the colours together. Uh, will this work? Will that work? Well, do you know what? We've got a wealth of experience, uh, both behind the scenes, on air. Brilliant. So what we've done is put colours together for you. So if this is something that worries you, and Quilt As You Go is a great way to start quilting, um, we've put the colours together in a bundle for you. So you, it all arrives and you get it and you are good to go. Now, this is your rolling stone block pattern. Let me show you this. Now, Quilt As You Go comes in two different types of wadding. This is your polyester wadding, which means that on the back of this, um, it, it has an adhesive, which you then do, you, you then um, add your, your backing to iron it on and it will stay. If you get the 8020, which I'll show you later, you will need a spray adhesive. So just a note um, when, you're, when you buy your quilt as you go to check which one it is. So 
and as you can see here it gives you all your instructions watch back the shows um, and it also gives you different ideas if you change the colorways on different ways to make the block stand out so you can see you get six blocks and it's printed onto the wadding so you literally just add your fabric it gives you all the cutting instructions you cut out your fabric you spray them with a best press starch spray iron them and then we'll go that so let me show you the colors that we've got so this is one of the bundles and what we've done is we've given you half a meter of your t oh we've got three different tildes in there gorgeous so you've got half a meter half a meter half a meter a meter oh hang on let me start that again clown flower tip whether well, that's not the teal um we've got half a meter of your clown flower and then a meter of your first kiss which is this one and then a half a meter there and then you've got um so half a meter half a meter a meter of your first kiss and then this is your corn flower this is going to be for your backing and so you've got a meter and a half of that and then you've got the mint here for your binding so that's for your binding and your strips but if you've got a meter and a half of that and a meter and a half of that you can decide which one you want as your backing which one as you want as your binding but the the fact is you've got the correct um ratio of fabric in there so you're getting all of that and you're also getting the actual quilt as you go pre-printed batting so all of this coming to you today for 63.95 so if you absolutely love your children this is from the circus range and you want to use it then look how beautifully that cornflower goes and then that that uh, mint coming in which matches absolutely on that first kiss beautiful then it's it's giving you those colors to play with straight away. Maybe you want to do that as your binding. Maybe you want to have that as your strips or that as your back. It's entirely up to you, but that's how it's coming to you. What we've done is we've made sure that you get the correct proportions of fabric for you to get going straight away. That's the joy of the bundle. So that is one bundle. Let's have a look at the teal. Ooh. Now again, this is your rolling stone again. This is the one that we've just seen. So there, there you go, that's your rolling stone. So same as the last one. So this is um, now Tilda, but in teal. So we've had Tilda in blue, we've now got Tilda in teal. So straight away, I can tell you your backing and your strips. There you go, you've got that in your teal and your pink there. All Macawa, all 100% cotton, and now let's go on to the tilde. So your first kiss in teal, a metre of that. And then for your clown flowers, you've got a half a metre of those. So you have got exactly the right amount to get quilting straight away. So backing, binding or binding back in whichever way around you want to do it um, you've got a meter because you do need a meter of one of your fabrics which we've given you as your first kiss love, love, love that one and then you've got a half a meter of each of these this is your tilde teal design so 63.95 what i would say to you uh when when I was uh, playing with all of my fabrics, playing with all my scraps, obviously there was a lot of tilde in my scraps. Um, it, it really did stand out as being such a beautiful fabric to work with, so easy to work with, an absolute joy to work with. So treat yourself, mm. is what I would say. Now, let's take that to one side there and let me show you now maybe you've already got fabric that you want to use at home maybe you bought fabrics from an earlier hour and actually do you know what you want to make this but with your own color combination then we've got it by itself 8.95 gets you your rolling stone so if you want to like i say if you wanted to do a 12 block by two it's modular you just keep sewing them together 
and off you go. So you might start off thinking, yeah, I'm just going to go for the cot size. You'll end up with a king before you know it. Um, 895 OXEQ79. I really love the idea of um, having different blocks and, and just increasing it, but putting different blocks around it. Now, I've also got for you on its own. Where is it? Where is it? Where's it gone? I've lost it. Um, should we go through the bundles instead? Because I've lost it. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, right. Let me show you. Mm, now, this one here is your sophisticated strips quilt pattern. Now, this is the one that you can see over here in the purple. Great way to start. This is done slightly differently. It's not modular. It is done sort of in one go. So it is just slightly different, but this is on 80-20, okay? That's the type of batting. So it's 80% cotton, 20% polyester fiber batting, which means that it doesn't have um, the adhesive on the back that the, that the polyester wadding does. So with this one, you will need to buy separately um, an adhesive, a spray adhesive. We'll give you the details for that in one moment, okay? But this is the size that you're making with this one. Different fabrics, obviously, but that's the size of it and that's the effect that it's going to be. It's good, isn't it? I love it. Okay. So, woohoo! Let's pop that up there, uh, not quite as beautifully displayed as it was. There you go. Uh, now, we have bundled this. <sighs> You've got half a meter of everything apart from the deep blue. Look, I mean, thunk. When this, when this arrives, thunk. Oh my goodness, look at this. Um, I can already hear my mum saying, but they're the colours of our sitting room. That's just beautiful. I know, I know, I know it's perfect. Um, look at that. I love that. Sort of hydrangea, isn't it? Really beautiful. That's about where my, you know, botanical knowledge stops. You've got your cornflower in there as a plane. Now, those hearts. Do you remember the other week I brought you um, cushions with these? A lot of you said that you love the hearts. It's back in this. You've got a beautiful light blue in there as well. Oh, I haven't seen some of these fabric. Look at that. That's a bit gorgeous. As, oh, that's a bit gorgeous as well. Oh, lovely. This is all from your uh, Blue Sky range. Look at these really gorgeous fabrics. Um, I have seen that. I've worked with that, and that's lovely. Uh, these are all 100% cotton. They work so beautifully together. Look, you've got your, um, got your planes in there as well, which really make the other ones play nicely together. Oh, I'm enjoying these. Ah, this one as well. All of this is coming to you. You've got this straight away to get going. Got another heart here, different shade of that one. And then look at this. Boom. Five units, so that's two and a half meters of your backing and binding coming in addition to all of these. Half a meter of all of this. So hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half meters of fat. Seven and a half meters of fabric. Yes, please, plus the actual quilt that you need to get, that, that, that you're gonna be quilting with. Where can I put that? There, in there. All of it. Oh, wow. XGGC36. That's a big old bundle, isn't it? Uh, it's not like I'm greedy, I just like a lot. And this gives you a lot. Wow. Oh, yeah. Um, beautiful. Do you know my favorite fabric out of this? Absolute favorite is this one. I haven't seen this and I love, love, love that. So pretty, so delicate and intricate. Gorgeous. Um, so, you know, that could be that bit coming through my quilt there. 
with the hydrangeas, and then I might put a plane next to it, or maybe I want to put my heart through. Oh, <sighs> you, that you can be the designer. You can decide on those, but you're going to love doing it. Now, if you love that, but you want it in a different colorway, same one, your sophisticated strips. Then that's the wadding that's coming with it. Again, you will need that spray adhesive. Whenever you see 80 20, your 80% cotton, your 20% polyester, you will need to add in your spray adhesive, which we'll come to in just one moment. One step at a time, one step at a time. Let me show you these fabrics. So, again, a half a meter of each of these. Um, and I have to say, having worked with most of these, I can tell you that these are 100% cotton. They are beautiful to work with, really an absolute treat. And look, we've given you there your cream in there. Um, half of me, oh, I haven't seen this one. That's a bit lovely. And again, you know, it's that mix of ditzy prints, bolder prints, larger prints. Oh, look at that one coming in. Beautiful. Um, and then, of course, you've also got... Let me show you here because then look, we've put different shades for your um, for your planes through. So maybe you have quite a neutral colorway in your house. Then this is going to work an absolute treat because look, half a meter of each of these. This is a seven and a half meter bundle. All of these coming to you. Oh, this is rather lovely. To, let me spin that around. You've got to see that. That's lovely. Really lovely. It's the first time I've seen that fabric too. Beautiful. Seven and a half meters because look, you are also going to get in here two and a half meters of your backing and binding. All of that. All of this to get you going and as well, obviously, your quilt as you go. So all of this is going to come to you. Happy days. $78.95. The guesswork's taken out of it. The color combining is taken out of it. We've put planes in that go that matches it all. It just, it's, but you still get to make it as individual because you decide where you want everything to go. So no two are going to be the same unless you want them to be. And that's the absolute beauty of it. Now, do you know what? Um, maybe you, you do want to be the designer. Maybe you've got a whole load because, you know, let's be honest, a load of you are, are sitting there on quite a stash at home waiting for the right project, in which case maybe just the quilt as it goes, quilt as it goes, quilt as you go on its own, that's what I'm trying to say, um, is going to work a treat for you, in which case we've got the sophisticated stripes, strips, rather, by itself. Then here it is. Now, again, you know, you can do multiples of these, sew them together, but this one is coming to you today if you want it. And remember, this is your 80-20, 80% cotton, 20% polyester batting here. 11 95 Lovely. So that, that is it, N-T-E-Q 46. Now... I can show you under here, this is it part made. Oh, different colorways again, but you see you get to play with that. Um, this is the only one that we've, we've had that has been slightly different in terms of um, that this, has, um, this one is done in, in one go. But again, it is still quilted. Here we go as you go. So you can see what you do, you can see how this is printed onto the batting. So you get all the instructions how to cut your strips of fabric and then you put them there. Now, this isn't like foundation piecing. You put that edge of that, um, of that fabric, those two raw edges there, against there, against that line, and then you use that as your edge and then you do in your quarter of an inch seam allowance in or half an inch or whatever seam allowance you're allowing on there. You then do that from there, okay? So once that's stitched on, absolutely fine. And you can then, and this is why you would then get your neck strip, line it up right sides to right sides, and then you would stitch again 
coming in from that line. Line it up. This is your lining it up line. And then you stitch in from there. All the instructions are coming in there. This is super warm, actually, just lying on it. It's really lovely. And you see underneath, you've got this is, so your backing fabric is on there. So if maybe, you know, you haven't seen any of our Quilt As You Go shows, firstly, watch them. They are all on YouTube. You can watch them again. Secondly, you get full instructions coming with it. But you see, look, this is your backing fabric. This is your top fabric. So every bit you stitch, you're quilting literally as you go, hence the name. Um, so that is that quilt part made. And here it is over here, fully made. That's the size that it's going to come out at, but obviously in the different colorways that you choose. It's fab, isn't it? But you see, you're going to decide, you're going to choose which colors you want to go for. Brilliant. Love that. So if you want it by itself, this by itself, and then you choose the colour. So you're going to need seven and a half metres of fabric for this. And that's what we're giving you when we when we put those fabric bundles together. But if you just want this by itself, then that's eleven ninety five. Now, let me also show you because um, the first two that I showed you are done in a modular style. Let me show you what I mean by that. Oh, what would you like to look at, Jutana? Oh, the spray adhesive, yes. Oh, yes, sorry, I keep forgetting to show you that. Um, with the 8020, with the sophisticated stripes, stri yeah, strips, um, because it's an 8020 wadding, they haven't put a spray adhesive on the back. This is what you will also need to pop in your basket, okay? So this is a repositionable but permanent spray, and this is 795. It's your Odif 404 Permanent Repositionable Craft Adhesive. I am a big believer in this. Now, the one that we showed you was, was pinned in. You can, you can pin it, but if you're me and you just don't want things moving around, then this has saved me on, uh, on quite a few occasions now. Um, so $7.95, pop that in your basket. If you like to use, if you want to have that base already adhered to, so it's not gonna shift around as you're moving, then pop this. $7.95, IUGQ20 is your code for that. Now that's for your 80-20 batting. Should you wish to use that, if you want to pin it, then you can. Now, let me show you. When I say about modular systems, this is what I mean. When you get, so when you get, oh, well, here we go, I can show you. When you get your mosaic magic block, so if you've gone for the mosaic magic, which is the one behind me, this one. Let me show you this. Do you want to show it in the pink? Shall I show it you in the pink? Now, if you want to grab this one, it's available by itself, and I just want to show you how it comes together. So if you want to get this one, then the Quilt As You Go Poly Batting Series Mosaic Magic is here. Now, let me show you what you get when you get each of these. So, that is what, what you're getting. It gives you ideas there. That gives you three different ideas to use with three different colors, three different colorways. Gives you a different idea of how to put those blocks together in a different way. Um, and then here, And it gives you, actually, if you want to use their videos, then you've got how to, how to watch those. There's a YouTube channel as well on how to use these. When we've had Joy on the shows, she likes to color these in so that she knows uh, what color fabric she's using with what, but it's entirely up to you. It tells you all of your cutting instructions. Now, the cutting instructions are for one block. So if... You're going to do all six exactly the same, cut all six exactly the same. You're getting six blocks in each of these, okay? And then on the back, it shows you how to then attach each of those blocks. So when you get, your, um, when you get them, it will come in one big sheet. And what you do 
we've taken two blocks of this. You cut, you cut like that and like that. So there's a there's a two inch block. You cut across there and down there. Okay. And here it is. So step by step, literally step by step, number by number. This is number one. You put your fabric in number one. Then you go to number two. And I can show you on here, number two is there. And number three, you quilt those in. And so on onwards you go. So then, you see that is the size that you're quilting. And if you see on the back, it's quilted. That's what I mean by quilt as you go. So it's already done. You're not then faced with a great big quilt that you've then got to try and, and put through your machine. Then, when you come to attach these together, it shows you how to attach them, but you see they will go together with your binding, and that will all go together like that. And that's why we say that we give you all of that fabric to do your binding with. Full instructions as to how to do that. So you'll have that on the front and you'll also have that. That will then come across and you'll hand stitch just that side. And that's how these go together. Um, it's a different way. It's a different way, but, but brilliant. Six blocks. So that would be one whole bundle there together. Uh, what we've done for you is of course make bundles together okay so if you if you're going okay i really love this but not quite sure how much fabric or what colors are going to go let's show you what we've done so we've bundled a different pattern which is your rolling stone which looks like uh, this one here And this is, this is the one that we're looking at here. So again, you've got three different designs. Down here, it gives you their YouTube channel. Uh, same principle, you can see it's all printed onto the batting and numbered, you just follow the numbers, which is fab. Actually, you can probably see it better there. And off you go. Now, there will be a little bit of piecing for you to do. So with the triangles, you're not going to be trying to stitch those in. You will sew those together before you then add them in. So they'll come as a rectangular block by the time you get onto there, but really easy. Now, we've put this with Tilda. <gasps> bit of a treat, bit of a treat. So um, you've got a meter and a half of your pink. And, oh, a message from Christine. Hi, Natasha. I'll go through these. Sorry, I got, I got carried away. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Meter and a half of your pink, meter and a half of your teal. Now that's for your binding and your strips and your backing, whichever color you choose, it's up to you. One for your backing, one for your binding. Maybe you wanna mix it up, entirely up to you. Um, now the first kiss is the one for that one you've got a meter of. Love that. And you can just see why we've chosen those colors as planes to go with it, can't you? Absolutely gorgeous. So half a meter then of these other two. Beautiful. So everything that you need ready to go. And there they are. So this is your bundle. This is what you're getting. So you're going to get already down to single figures on this, super popular. Uh, so you've got your tilde, half a meter, half a meter, meter, meter and a half, meter and a half. That's what that's looking like in order to make uh, your quilt as you go pre-printed quilt here. Now this, because this is the polyester, then you just need to, um, it's got that adhesive on the back. Please be very, very gentle when you iron that. Don't over iron it. In fact, use your steam on your iron so that you don't um, squish that. Uh, now, Christine says, hi Natasha, got carried away yesterday and got four quarters you go. Four. Amazing. In the Rolling Stone, that's this one. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, she's got that. Going to make twin girls cot quilts, says Christine in Durham. Nice. Beautiful in the tilde. Beautiful in the tilde. That's what you're getting in this bundle. Oodles and scoodly woodles of fabric there. Absolutely lovely. Now, next up is your blue version. Christine, can you message back? Are they your twin girls or are they family twin girls or are they just, you know, 
just in case. Uh, or dolls, says producer Hannah. Are they actually real twins? Um, who knows? <laughs> who knows? We have guests that make quilts for their toys. So, you know, any ideas for making quilts? We're there. Okay, so this is again, this is your rolling stone. But this is giving you a blue option with your tilde. So that's the design. Good on you, Christine. Four of them. You've got some work to do there. Won't feel like work there, will it? It'd be amazing. $63.95 for this. Um, right, a metre and a half of your green, a metre and a half of your cornflower blue. This is your backing, your binding, and um, your strips to join everything together. Use whichever colour you want. I really love the idea of um, having different, you know, different like patches on the back. So one patch in blue, one patch in green. That's how I want to do it. Now, your first kiss here, you are getting a meter of. You, but and again, if I put that there, you can see exactly why we've chosen these colours. You've got the cornflower blue in there, and this minty green is matched exactly there which then means that we can put in a half a metre of your circus flower, your circus rose, and another half a metre of your tilde in there. And that is what you're getting in this. Again, with your batting, it's all coming together. 63.95. Um, now, we've got this by itself. If you'd like the Rolling Stone just by itself, maybe like Christine, you two are going to make four of these. Oh, my goodness. God, I love that. Got carried away, accidentally bought four. Um, we are not here to judge. We are merely here to inspire and help. Um, then if you would like your Rolling Stone, then it's eight ninety five, And, and you're going to, yeah, you're going to make one this size, well, not that size, six different squares. Shall I show you what that equates to size-wise? Size-wise, each one of those packets is going to do that. So when Christine said that she bought two, what she's going to do, well, she bought four to make two quilts, is she's going to have end up with one this size. Now, this one here is Mosaic Magic. Um, in fact, they both are Mosaic Magic. But just how different do they look in different colorways? So that's still, that's still the size. So this is the size of one. If you want to buy two and put them together, that's the size that you're looking at. That's how big Christine's quilt is going to be. It doesn't have to be a quilt. You could do it as a table runner however you want to do it. Um, so each one of these, that's one entire one, $8.95. But because it's modular, you see, look, okay, let me show you on the back one. I say, I keep saying it's modular, it's modular. Um, you just put them together. So you see, Christine will just add on another block. Just keep adding them on. Lovely, isn't it? And then just do your final binding around the back. So you could do the backing different colors and have a sort of a, a different patchwork on the back oh it's up to you that's the joy of it now the mosaic magic which is this one is now down the bottom there if you want to grab that um anytime just take a look on the website um and underneath where we're live then you'll get to see the whole list of everything that we've had on the show today and also, if you search quilts as you go, we have other choices as well. So if you haven't seen the one that maybe you've already bought and you want to, you know, like Christine, you want to extend and do larger ones, um, then do take a look on the website because that one that you've got that you love might be available there. Now, this one. Oh, the best press spray. Oh, I wonder if I've got that in my trolley. No, I haven't. No, Jay's got that. He'll have to bring it in in a second. Um, in the meantime, shall I show you this? Which is your sophisticated strips quilt. Now, this is this one. Bing. Now, 
I'm going to give you lots of information here. So across the bottom of your screen is going to come up just the wadding, just the wadding for this. So if you just want the wadding um, for this one, your sophisticated strips, then it's 11.95 and that's down the bottom. Uh, but producer Hannah says in the bundle, the bundle itself, Hang on, there's, there's what you what, 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 what? Oh, there we go. Um, there we go, there we go. That, that one there you can buy on its own down the bottom. Now, if you want it in the blue, in the shades of blue, there are more of you with it in your baskets for this bundle than we have actual stock of. So if you want this, please check out your baskets. It's 84.95. What do we say you're getting in here? Seven and a half meters of fabric or something crazy like that. It is, isn't it? It is because this here, you're gonna get um, five units. So that is two and a half meters of your backing. You are going to get a half a meter then of each of these other fabrics. So we're up to two and a half meters, three meters, three and a half, four meters of fabric. They are your planes ready to go. Then, my favorite, this here is your beautiful hydrangea. And then you've got your hearts, okay? two different shades of hearts. Then you've got sort of a floral affair. You've got your chain. I love this one as well. Just gorgeous coming in there. And then you've got your spots there. All of these, so two and a half meters, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half meters of fabric plus your actual batting all coming to you. Everything that you need in the proportions that you need. But if you want this, please check out your basket because more of you have got this sitting in your basket than we have stock of it. Okay, so if you want all of this, 84.95 and you are good to go. It's going to be gorgeous. There it all is. All of that coming to you for 84.95. That's a big old thud, isn't it? As that drops on your doorstep. Gosh, beautiful. Now you might say, but Natasha, 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 my colorways at home are a little bit more neutral. It's okay. I've got you sorted as well. So, I love that. Doesn't matter doesn't matter. Um, here it is. Um, this is your base, your, your backing, your binding, two and a half meters of this. So if you've got neutrals in your house, or maybe you're making a quilt for someone and you know that their house is more neutral, you know, you don't, you don't want to bombard them with color if you're not sure if that's the right thing for them. Here we go. Um, Within that, we also give you these neutrals. So a half a meter, we're down to the half meters here. Um, half a meter of these coming with it. They are your planes. And then let me show you, because look at these gorgeous fabrics that are coming to just tease you with it. Fabulous. Um, and here we go, half a meter of each of these. Look at these, just see how they all go so beautifully. So again, within this, you've got your tonal contrast going across there, but you've also got that blue. It's a really gorgeous bundle put together. Absolutely lovely, really lovely bundle there. Uh, for 78.95, this one. So KGGC57, and of course, don't forget what you're also getting, single figures again of this one left now, um, you're also getting your sophisticated strips. 
that's 78.95. KGGC57. Now, you might just want the wadding by itself. You might just want to do the stripes by itself. You might have seven and a half meters of fabric just sitting at home, not knowing what to do with. Or maybe you multi-bought some of the um, fabric that we had earlier, in which case you'll be good to go. Here we go. This is your quilt as you go. 80-20 cotton, sophisticated strips, 11.95. Remember, if you are getting this and you um, are expecting it to have... have um, an adhesive back to it, we don't, it doesn't. You either need to pin it or you need to spray it. So if you want to get a spray adhesive, we've got that on the show, we've shown you that already. So um, that's what we're looking at, 11.95 for that. That's your um, poly cotton, which is 80% cotton, 20% polyester. That's 80-20. Now, what it says with all of these is to use a spray starch, which is somewhere around here somewhere. I don't have it to hand, but check out on the website the Best Press Spray. It's $4.95. Um, oh, hang on. I've dropped my sticky spray down there. Hang on. Blah, 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 blah. Let me get that for you. It rolled off my trolley. Here we go. Um, now, this, this is the spray that I was just saying about. If you're using the 8020 with the, the sophisticated strips, then and you want to spray that back of your quilt, then this is the one to go for. This is your permanent repositionable. So you do have chance to reposition it, but it will ultimately give you um, a, a permanent adhesion. So $7.95 for this. I find these make quilting. As a newbie quilter, these make life so much easier. IUGQ20 is your code for that. $7.95. I use this always. What I would say, don't make the mistake that I did to start off with and just lay it down on your carpet and spray it. Yeah, no, I did have to wash my carpet afterwards. Um, do put it down on newspaper or something before you start spraying. Uh, that would be my top tip for you. Unless, of course, your carpets do need a wash. Mine did afterwards. Uh, excellent. Um, now, just a little tip. Uh, let's just recap the quilt as you go by themselves. So if you just want the quilts as you go, then we've got the Mosaic Magic, which is this particular one here. Um, whoop. This hasn't been bundled today. This is just if you want the batting, but this is what it will make. Okay, this is the one that it will make. Um, all of these are on the website, but here we go. These, it gives you, when you get this, it's going to show you all the different ways that you can make it. So when you get this, you'll get full instructions with it as well. Three different ideas as to how to do it. Half of the stock of this gone already. 895 LCEQ40. Um, down here, you get all of the different ways in which you can. They've got a YouTube channel. So if, you have, if you've missed the shows where these were made, it doesn't matter. You can catch up then. No problem with that at all. Full instructions, so if you're wondering how to bind them, how to put them together, full instructions in there. You can even have a little play if you want to um, have a little play there with um, trying different colours together, you can do that. Gives you cutting instructions, it's all there, and then how to put the strips together, how to put those, um, those together. LCEQ40, £8.95. pence. Oh, Jay's just come in with a bottle of Best Press. Bring that here, Jay. Bring it here. Yay! We've only been asking for 10 minutes. Here it is. Oh, we couldn't hear. His headset's not working. Bless him. Uh, here we go. Was that why he was trying to do sign language to me at the side? Because he couldn't hear what you were asking for. Brilliant. Uh, now, for any of um, the quilt as you go, this is another joy of the quilt as you go for me, is that you don't, um, you don't keep ironing in between. So what you do, when you do your cutting, you cut your fabric, you spray it with your best press, and you iron it then. 
Okay, this is a starch spray. The joy of this um, is that it doesn't flake, it doesn't go white. If you've used starch sprays before, or like the aerosol starch or anything like that, sometimes they go white and flaky, it's a bit horrible and leaves a horrible residue on your sewing machine. Then, with this, you don't get any of that. Look, it's, this is the lavender smelling one. Have we got the other, the other? Oh, they're on the website. So we've also got, um, Oh, are they, is this the only one we've got in? The, have we got the no scent one in? Have a look on the website if you want other flavors. This is my favorite one, which is why I asked for this one. This is the lavender one, uh, which is really lovely. Um, so spray your fabric, iron it, cut it. And then you see when you, when you stitch on your quilt as you go, you just finger press. You don't have to keep going and ironing. You just finger press and that's enough because you've got your starch spray in there. Now, of course, if you, you know, starch your husband's shirts, do people still do that? Then, of course, you can, you can, Jay's looking confused. People iron their shirts, Jay. I know, I know that look of horror. Producer Hannah says she doesn't starch anyone's shirts. And she never, oh, oh, and she never will. The defiance going on out there. I don't know, I was only asking. That's, that's opened up a can of worms, hasn't it? I was only asking, just generally, do people still, um, do, still start shirts? I don't know. I don't know. But if you do, just, you know, if you do, I feel, I feel I'm getting in trouble here. Uh, should you, should you? My husband has those little metal things that he sticks in his collar to, to keep there and it drives me mad because he forgets to take them out and they block my, my washing machine. Um, otherwise, you see, I might start starching his collars and then I won't have to have uh, his little metal things getting caught in the washing machine. Anyway, uh, so this is your Best Press Lavender Field Spray. Smells lovely. Four ninety-five, um, but you will need it if you're using any of the quilts as you go. If you've already got it, great. If you haven't, pop it in your basket. A little goes a very long way. Can someone back me up here? On, on, just message me if you do still starch shirts or anything like that. Derek did. Oh, what Derek that stood in for me, Derek. Oh, good old Derek. Derek, do you know what, actually, can I just say, Derek, thank you so much for standing in for me at such short notice when Freddie went down with his chicken pox. Um, he did a grand job, didn't he, ladies and gents? Really lovely to see him on the shows. Now, Rolling Stone on its own. I hope this is the one. I've just grabbed it. That looked like I knew what I was doing, didn't I? Yeah, Jay's giving me the thumbs up. Yes, yes, this is it. This is your Rolling Stone here. Quilt as you go. Oh, it's getting very silly upstairs. You can tell it's near the end of four hours, can't you? 8 95 there if you just like that by itself. You can multi-buy and then you can make hoosif quilts. It's entirely up to you. But if you uh, if you just after one, it's 8 95 Woohoo! Loads of you multi-buying. Loads of you multi-buying. Like Christine, who bought four yesterday. How many did you buy today, Christine? That's what I want to know. OXEQ79. Get it whilst you can. But oh, Christine, update. Oh, she, she's emailed. She's got a lot to say. Hi again. Hi, Christine again. My cousin's husband's granddaughters, well, this is a bit convoluted, are seven months old. They are the twins, yes. And they're getting christened in August. Oh, so she's making matching quilts with their names embroidered and the date of the birth, weight and time. <gasps> There'll be no arguing over whose is whose. And she's using the Rolling Stone. That is gorgeous. Oh, it makes me feel a bit teary. That's lovely. Oh, that's so lovely. That's one of the, that's, that's, yeah. That's a gift that you, you know is a keeper. That's so special. Christine, you're lovely. Oh. Oh, do you want to see what the Rolling Stone makes? Oh, here. Uh, here it is. There it is. Either any of those. Oh, Christine, are you going to do the same pattern for, for, or are you going to do one like that and one like that? So this is a... Yeah, but it, no, you, no, you see, Director Tim says you have to do the same, otherwise one will think it's a favourite. Yeah, but you haven't specified which one. You've got brother and sister twins. Half brothers and sisters that are twins. 
Does that make them a whole? If they're half brother and sister? Yeah. Um, it's maths. It's all about the maths. Um, and you have, to do, you have to do the same or one gets upset. Yeah, but, but you're not loving more one than the other if you just do... It's same but different because they don't want to be like identical, identical. It's same but different, isn't it? Oh, I feel we've set up lots of debates going today. To starch or not to starch? Same but different for the twins? Hey. Oh, Christine, let us know what you're going to do. Oh, the blue... The, the big blue bundle. Big blue... Stock update, there's only one. With the BBB, the big blue bundle. Do you want to see it? Oh, we're going to have a look at it on a picture, apparently. Look at this. There it is. Apparently it's easier because you get seven and a half metres and there's a lot. So if you want it, three... Oh. <laughs> Producer Hannah's just said if you want it, there are three of you with it in your basket. Uh, good luck with that. Um, yeah, so basically first come first serve on that. But if you want it, this is what you're getting. Two and a half meters, half meter, 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 half meter. And you're batting all in for 84.95. And it is making, but obviously in those colorways, that, oh, that nearly worked. Still quilt as you go, different method. It's not the modular method. This is the just, uh, it's massive, get on with it method. That's technical. That's as technical as it gets. Yeah, the, the deal with it method. Um, <laughs> but it's still showing you where to put things, which is great. So it's giving you that help and it's showing you stitch down here, stitch down here um, and giving you the different colours. It's like next step up, isn't it? Yeah, next. Uh, now. Now, you see, I have to ask director Tim if you've got um, a boy and a girl twin brother and sister, could you do, would it be okay to do one for the boy in blue? And then one for the girl in the neutral? Would that be okay? Yeah, oh no, he's allowing that. Okay. See, same but different. There's no favoritism. Oh, only two of these left. Oh my goodness. There you go. I like this. Ooh, beautiful. So you've got your blues in there, but it's predominantly neutrals. If you're making this for somebody else, um, firstly, aren't you lovely? Secondly, um, you know, this is lovely because you've got, um, you've got a nice neutral colorway. So this is gonna work. Maybe this is gonna be a baby quilt, but you don't know the flavor of the baby yet. Uh, and that's okay, because you've got your, your neutrals in there. Uh, <laughs> that will allow you not to know whether you're having a boy or a girl. That's okay. That's okay. See, I'm nice at that. Um, I, I couldn't wait to know. I wanted to know immediately. 78.95. KGGC 57. All of that. Seven and a half metres. Uh, you'll need your spray with that if you want to use a spray. Otherwise, you can obviously use uh, these. I don't know. Uh, we didn't mention these, did we? These little bad boys. These are curved safety pins. So if you don't want to spray, then uh, Director Tim thinks they're boomerangs. They're not. And they are meant to be bent like that. When I saw one just lying around, I was like, oh, who's bent the safety pin? Come on. Uh, but no, these are curved safety pins. So let me show you. So with this, this is the, this is the stripe. This is your, your strips. Um, because look, they're in there already. You see, so they are holding they are holding your backing on. So instead of the spray, if you don't want to spray, if you don't like the idea of the spray, then you can pin them down. $4.95 for your curved safety pins. Hurrah. And there we see them in action. Yeah. 
And now across the bottom is this on its own without any fabric or anything else. Because uh, the bundles are going. Gosh. Wow. Um, wow. Busy, busy hour. Uh, best press. Should we talk about that? Let's talk about best press. Now, this is your best press spray. If you have a quilt as you go, you need to pop this in your basket, whichever one, doesn't matter which one you've gone for, you'll need this because it says in the instructions. <laughs> it's as simple as that really, it says that you need it in the instructions. Um, what it does is it means that you don't have to iron in between each line of stitching, um, you just finger press it because you've already put that starch into the material and, and pressed it. It's easier to work with. Uh, Producer Hannah, has anybody messaged about whether or not they starch their shirts? No. Oh, Nicole. I starch Natasha. She said, oh, not me. Like, she starches. Starched. Um, Four ninety-five. Three years at drama school. That's the best I can do. Um, y G E Q fifty. That is your best press lavender starch spray. If you want the scent free or the linen, check out the website. Um, but this is your lavender. This is my favourite. Therefore, it's on the show. I love to open up the uh, airing cupboard and have that waft of lavender hit. It's lovely. Um, so that's why that's on the show. Y G E Q fifty. Jay's going to start starching, aren't you, Jay? He's going to have to start ironing first before he can start starching. That Jay, he can't stop starching. Uh, uh, now, Mosaic Magic. Oh, this one. We have, we haven't bundled it, but if you, this is what you will be making in whatever colors you choose. Uh, that's the size of it, boo! Um, if you would like to grab this today, more than half the stock is gone. It is $8.95. You can um, modularly make these bigger. So if you want to buy two, then it's going to be double the size. Actually, we had Joy in the other day, and she'd, she'd, done, she'd done four in a, in a line. So it was like a table runner. And then she'd done two individually as table settings. Look really nice. So don't think that you just have to use it for a quilt. You can do it as a table runner. Ba, 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 ba. Nice. A95 LCEQ40 for this one. Liking that a lot. Liking that an awful lot. Yeah, so if you can imagine that as a table mat, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Very nice. And then she basically had it as a table runner. But you could have it as a, as a bed runner as well, couldn't you? Yeah. A95 LCEQ40, but that's what you're getting. Lovely. Very nice. Uh, what to look at next? Uh, but, 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 should we look, have we got any of the tilde bundles left? This is the blue. Love this. So, in your tilde blue bundle, this is for your rolling stone, which is this one. Nice. That's your rolling stone. And you are going to get... Ba, 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 here it is. Um meter and a half of your corn flour, meter and a half of your mint. That is to be your binding and your backing. So for example, binding, binding, backing. Um, there we go. So that's what those planes are for. This is a meter of your Tilda First Kiss. How gorgeous. And that's how these colours came about, you see, because you can see the cornflower and blah, 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 all working beautifully together. And then you get a half a metre of each of the other Tildas. Ooh, lovely. If you love your circus, which we do here, very much so, then there it is. 
CDGC57. Lovely. Now, um, that is your blue. Then off you go. Grab that one. Now, coming up tomorrow, because I've just looked at the clock and I've realised we are fast running out of time. Jay's shaking his head like, yeah. Uh, Chic Boutique. Oh, yes. Uh, Fat Quarter Fun at 8 a.m. 9 a.m. is Cut Stitch Press. And then 10 a.m. we are dressmaking with Jennifer. And then 11 a.m. we have beautiful bags. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's what's coming up tomorrow. Now, don't forget this morning, if you missed out first thing this morning, don't forget to pop your silk threads in your basket. First, first, first time on air. Best price that you will find in the UK. This is your threads, silk, printable fabrics. First time on air, best price in the UK, $29.95. Lots of you with that sitting in your baskets. Please check out your baskets. Um, really great price there. HJTP07, pop it in your basket. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Thank you very much for your company. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Follow us on Twitter for more inspiration, top tips, news, and share your own creations with us. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work we create and love.